Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft playthrough. Serafina has released her latest mod pack, and I am very, very, very excited to jump into this. And this is something that we're going to be playing and exploring for the months to come. So I hope you're also excited. I'm so hyped for this. I didn't realize just how long it had been since we had done our last, like solid minecraft playthrough so yeah you ready chat so bit of a disclaimer on this one this is a much heavier duty mod pack uh we've been talking about it in the discord and there has been some conversation already of people whose computer can't run this one and that is sort of an unfortunate reality so please manage your expectations but uh, you know what? You can vicariously enjoy it through me. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So the server we're playing on, we're going to be opening up to a bunch of friends. I'm going in private today. It's just going to be me. I'm going to be exploring stuff. But I will be opening this up to all of the wonderful chat moderators. So we'll get a chance to see their builds and have some friends in the server. Uh, I've invited Mine O'Clock to hang out. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ah, I'm so excited. All right. Let's read a couple of subs and then let's jump into the game. Uh, Schwarm, thank you for 21 months. Jar High, 28, 22 months. They pushed that button. Ooh, Silver Knight with the quarter year, 25 months. My goodness. Uh, Jess K, welcome back, friend. Thank you for that resub. Brooke, just bones with the butter bean. I'd love to see some hearts in chat if we could celebrate that tremendous milestone. And Arctic Atlantic, 29 months. I don't entirely understand what this specific instance of hype is about, but I'm hype nonetheless. Heck yeah. Whoa, Evil Clock! Thank you very much for gifting five subs to the community. Welcome to Make Monsters, Vidwizard, Tusky, shh, I'm a real cat, and Tangasm, and then Darth Vader! 29 months. I want to play the game. Y'all are very generous. All right. Calling it there? May as well keep this going a bit longer. All right. I hit this button. Apparently that button makes loud truck noises happen outside. I hit this button. I hit this button. I hit this button. Hacker voice, I'm in. You do have two musics. So I apologize for that. Leet Motif! Thank you for that brand new Prime. Welcome, Monkus Be Funky! Thank you for 32 months! My goodness, friends. Quite the subtrain this music. Subtrain this morning. This music. Ah! I did that thing where I'm finishing a sentence and I read chat and I just swap one of the words. Does Lonely Radio 1 have a deal with Big Giant Circles? Yes and no. Um, Big Giant Circles is, is, has a very good relationship with Lonely Radio 1. And they have a license for um, basically an open agreement that streamers can use their content, which is great. What am I looking at? Sorry. Welcome to our brand new world. And I'm sorry. Is that a skeleton of a dragon? What? Oh, look. Look at this. We jump right into it and there's a murder hole. That's exciting. Oh, God. You can tell it's modded. Look at all the colors. All right. Um, what? This thing is enormous! Fire dragon. Oh, bones. Aha! Oh! Oh, dragon bones, dragon skull, what, hold on, do I hear an echo, all right, no more echo, dragon skull, well, this is quite the start, um, hold on, what's in my inventory here, I have a ring of the seven curses, once worn, it will become a part of you. This ring will persist with you forever. That seems bad. 
Seven curses will befall whoever wears it. You receive double damage. Seems bad. Neutral creatures are aggressive. Seems really bad. Armor's worse. Monsters... What? But you will get bonus blessings. Bonus looting. Bonus fortune. More experience. Bonus enchanting power. Oh, wow. This is like a new game plus ring. That's kind of cool. And then we have the enigmatic amulet. Ever since you first stepped into this world, it resides in your possession. You still don't know its origin or purpose. Whether it has any, time slowly washes away hazy scraps of shattered memories. What? Oh, minus 25% gravity. That's kind of cool. Hey, Nathan, thank you very much for 32 months of support. And Abracadaver, that brand new prime. Thank you. The one probe read me ants. Astral Tome. Wait, Astral Tome? Yes! Oh, I love Astral. What is this? Bitmus Sand. Oh, God. There's so... Wait. Is my auto jump on? <laughs> yes? Hello. All right. Let's explore this village. Because I'm just realizing Nightbite might fall any second now. Uh, let's try not to fall... Wait. Are those diamonds? No, that's way too high to be diamonds. Night might fall and I'm just chilling here. Is that a pillager? What? What is... Are you a friend? Oh, you are a friend. You <laughs> That looked an awful lot like an evoker, eh, chat? Um, I'm going to take this bed. It's my bed now. Who are you? Mana weaving altar. Are we not... Are we not... Bros? Hello! Mana weaving. Oh my goodness. This is a cute building. Alright, let's keep exploring. Ooh! Oh. Oh. Ooh! What pack is this? It's a brand new pack. It just came out. Oh, we should probably make a command for that. Oh, there is a command for that. Hey, look at this. We have our first tool. We got a bunch of like wooden stuff. Not bad. A couple of saplings. I'll take those. All right, let's put these away for now. Put these away for now. Already liking this pack based on the few mods you've seen. There's supposed to be a lot in this like a lot a lot a lot all right i'm gonna grab a second bed because i think joe's gonna join us at some point and it'd be rude if we didn't have a bed ready for her oh look at these flowers oh they're not flowers they're onions Hmm. still pretty but smell way worse All right, what else do we have here? We have a bell. God! <laughs> I don't know why this mason scared me that much, but wow, that got me good. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so, oh, that's so silly. Wait, hold on. I have a new plan. The bed that Joe and I are going to have is going to match. There. Yeah, what is this mining and crafting you speak of? It's been so long. This is a rare breed of modded uh, cave iron golem. Typically, they're called cave golems. This one bugged and called itself an iron golem. Very interesting, though. What's this? Hey, more stuff, more supplies. Ooh, apples. It's going to make for some good eating. So I have a big plan for this season. I have a really cool big idea for the base. Oh, look at that house. That house is really cool looking. All the brick and stuff like that. And I don't know... I don't... I feel like I'm a couple weeks away from when we're going to be able to start working on it. Do you want to hear about the base now? Even though you won't see it? Or should I just tease you and say it's going to be amazing? What is this building? Oh, iron. That's exciting. 
You want to hear it? All right. Tease chat. No, chat doesn't do well with being teased. That'd be rude. Don't let them know. All right. Well, I'll do, I'll do a little mixture of both. Sorry. What is this pink thing on the water? Are you a flower or a fish? What are you? Wake bloom? Huh. Cool. It's very pretty. All right. So let's talk about some ideas of what it's not going to be. Oh, no! I'm sorry, I shouted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouted. <laughs> <laughs> that really startled me. So, let's talk about... Excuse me, I need I need your bed. Let's talk about things that we have done in the past so we can do a process of elimination. So, in Surgecraft 2, we, of course, had the Gigaloo, so it's not going to be a snow base. In Surgecraft 1, we had the Amonkhet, so it's not going to be a desert base. Oh, that's a palm tree, which is very cool. Um... We did a medieval town with Joe Stotska. Ooh, we struck it rich, chat. Rice? No, I don't know what rice is, so I'm not going to touch it. Uh, let's take these potatoes. Strawberry scones. Delicious. You know what? We're going to eat that right now. We're going to start this playthrough a little bit of dessert. We've done underwater, though. We've done... <laughs> go back to fighting the sea. But it's funny you should mention that, because it is going to be... At least a little bit water-based. Wait, can I pick this up? Is this just like a free chest that I can carry with me? Wait, let's do a test here. Is, it, is this a storage, like a shulker box? Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Alright, we're taking these crates. So, it's going to be water-based, because I think chat would riot if there wasn't a chance of a canal. Right? Let's be real. Alright. I want it to be futuristic. I don't want it to be modern, but I want it to be futuristic, which I think is going to be very cool. Uh, there's going to be some water elements... And, I don't know, I'm not an artist, I don't have concept art, I just have like an image in my head. So I hope that's all stuff that you're excited about. You're like, okay, wait, futuristic water base, alright. You with me so far? Are you excited about that? Yeah, seen a couple people in chat talking about this. This is a 1.16 mod pack, chat. We're finally free of all of our modded experiences being in uh, 1.12. That means we have the aquatic update. That means we have rain, reindeer. That's just a pure modded thing. Uh, that means we have better villagers. That means we probably have raids. There's so much of this right now. And I'm very, very, very exciting. Yeah, this is, oh, hello, bee friend. Right, of course, it means we have bees. Because bees, of course, were added in 1.14. It's all here. Uh, Ella, I don't know if I... Oh, geez, I think I missed a couple of subs. Malk, thank you so much for that prime in 33 months. Ela, thank you very much for eight months. Just downloaded this pack last night. Really excited to get into it once my finals are done. Awesome. All right. All right. Let's... Wait, did I get that house too? I did. Let's start figuring out where we're... What is with all the murder ravines? I think Serafina must have really, you know, cranked up the dial for murder ravines. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Look at these flowers. All right, so there's some magic in this pack, obviously. We have Druidcraft. We've got Botania. Oh, no, my nemesis. Uh, there's obviously some tech stuff as well. Did somebody rip off my idea? I said I wanted to be the high-tech pack here, and... There's this high-tech tower in the distance. I have to go... What the what? What are you? Did 
Did somebody make a starter base for us? Ooh, there's a little house over there too. Um, hard to get to. So the ladders are a lie. It's actually just Seattle. Game volume's a little too quiet? Really? You can't hear me walking around? I made it louder. Is it better? Oh. What happened here? Ooh, a campfire. Wait a second. Oh. I thought there was a secret way down. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yo, anybody want to play some Valheim? They even made a moat. Parkour. Oh. Ooh. Ah. What the what? Antlers, sunflower, beetroot seeds, cocoons. Uh, this is all weird. This could be our starter base. Maybe no. It's better. Can't hear walking sounds? Really? All right, let's make this way louder. Which, uh, which volume option is the walking sound? Is it ambient? No, friendly is like chickens and stuff, which we never have to hear. All right, I'm scared to climb that tower because I don't want to fall and die on day one. If you want that kind of content, you can watch James. Ooh, roasted. All right. So let's explore. Let's find a place to call home. Charred planks. Cool. So what I'm looking for, my criteria here is going to be like a good starter base location. What is luscious? All right, be in an area with enough aura. Oh my goodness, aura? Um, Which one was aura again? Was aura thaumaturgy? Yeah, I see the astral thing. I don't want to get started on astral yet, so I'm just going to ignore it. Are you a giant bug? Oh my goodness. Let's go say hi to that. Cool. What is this biome? Oh, I thought that was a bug, but it turns out it's just palm leaves. Uh, this is called the... What are you, biome? The rainforest. Amazing. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, but let's leave. Because it's scary and I don't know what it is. I need the rosewood log, says Anime Kitty. Yeah. Maybe we'll stay near this so we can get those logs. All right. Ooh. There's just so much to explore in modded. There's so much to explore. Oh, another tower. Ooh. All right, what is this? Giant tall grass. Look at this. We could just hide in here. Look how sneaky we are. Oak, maple. Oh, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see a mountain looking... Th Wait, is this the same village? Did I just go in a giant circle? No, that's impossible. Unless that's the same tower.
Wow, you can tell it's a 1.16 mod pack because we have the ruined... Kaka! What the what? Ooh, this is good stuff. Look, a weapon. Ah, uh, we don't need horse armor. Wait, where did it go? Um, hello? I really hope you're a friend. What are you? Is that a griffin? Or a pegasus? Hold on. Hold on. What? Oh my god, I love it. Come back! Hello? <laughs> Alright, um... Will it land is an important question here. Maybe it likes apples. <gasps> what is that biome? Oh my god, chat, we're not getting anything done today. I'm just going to keep running. I found where our base is going. Right? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, it's nighttime. Let's sleep. Put the horse armor on it? <laughs> uh, I don't know if we can do that. Malk, you're like, I'm just here to look at pretty things? Yeah, fair enough. I don't really want to start in a village. That's not quite the aesthetic I'm looking for. It can be fun, but that's not quite the story I want to tell. Ooh, more bread. I'll take these strawberries too. They seem delicious. Light snack. Tomato seeds. Yeah, all right. This is a brand new village. Brand. Oh, I'm hungry. Brand new village just filled with delicious treats for us to explore. And then we're going to go live in this cherry blossom forest. Especially if we can find a spot where the cherry blossom forest overlooks the ocean. Then I am here for that. Mmm, good call from Tangasm. Yeah, if you go into a village, there's a chance that you also get raids. Yes, more strawberry snacks. What the... Uh, yeet. I've yeeted for nothing. Yeah, I just don't want to have to deal with raids, right? There's pros and cons to villagers. Pros, villagers. Cons, villagers. I mean, enough said, really. Hello, Diderot. Welcome, friend. How you doing? Isn't that just Victoria? I mean, yeah, the raids and everything. It's really quite something growing up in a city where you get pillager raids on, on the weekly basis. Or apples. That was loud. Bartel bad. Thank you for nine months. Acha cha cha. So one bonus of our early raiding here. Raiding. Wait, we're the raiders. Wait. No. We're humble adventurers. We're basically like like Link from the Zelda games, right? It's just a well established tradition that the hero will come in and just absolutely ransack your village on their way to save your world. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whew! Almost, almost had to face a uh, pretty harsh reality there. Anyways, I digress. What was I talking about? Raids? No, we were done with raids, villagers. <laughs> Oh, shulker boxes. Yeah, of course. Ooh, this room's kind of spooky looking. A mysterious spell that looks like a trident. Okay, don't like this. Construct? Yeah, so one of the cool things about modded is we already have shulker boxes. How cool is that? Compunic! Thank you very much for 10 months. I pushed the button. Um, Is the sub noise super loud now? What the? Hold on. Hold on. Beetle? Hello! Oh my god, I love you! You're so cute! Look at its little antennas! Hi! Why would I kill it? Look how cute it is! No. It needs to be protected. Okay, it's over there now. 
I don't know what it, what to feed it. Look, we're just going to have to appreciate a lot of things, and then we're going to move fast. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to... Another beetle! A lot to see. And we got to stay focused, chat. We got to stay focused on the goals, the main goals, like robbing all of these houses before we move on. Got to rob them all. All right. Um, yeah. Let's go live in this pink forest because this looks cute as heck. Oh, this place is so cute. What is this biome called? Oh, look at the texture. Cherry log? Wow. This is called the... Still the plains, apparently. Harvester, thank you very much for 26 months, friend. Looking forward to our new beetle-based economy. That'd be amazing. We start a marketplace, but it only deals in beetles. Ooh. Aubergine. I think we found home, chat. I think we found home. M Drift, thank you for that prime and quarter year. What is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. It already has some caves. So what do you think? Is this where our starter base is, chat? Is this where home is in this little valley right here? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. We haven't really explored that much and there could be other pretty places, but like, look at this. And I realize, you know, with Hermitcraft, everyone is making hobbit holes. But what if we also made a hobbit hole? <laughs> right into the side of the, the mountain there. All right. Uh, yes. Let's do that. Look at this. Here's our, our cozy, like, starting place here. I've already got some chests. I can't hear when I open those. Is that block? What is, what is that one? Oh, maybe it doesn't have a chest noise. Hmm. Okay, so I need a wooden pickaxe. And then shortly after the wooden pickaxe, we get ourselves a stone pickaxe. Wait, do I have enough iron to just go straight to an iron pick? Oh, no. That's unlucky. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Um, I need more wood. Will there be community servers for this pack? So we've been talking about this. Wait, I don't know if we made like an official announcement or anything, but the current answer is no. And the reason for that is Tex, our wonderful, wonderful human, great description, Surge, <laughs> who has done all the hosting in the past, is expected to move. And so what would end up happening is we'd have a huge chunk of unexpected downtime, like pretty quick right away to when we, we get people into it. And rather than the disruption from that, we're just like not going to be able to offer it right now. Also, another tricky thing is how much more resource intensive it would be to host this compared to other things like vanilla, for example. So 
yeah, at the time, at the at current moment, there are no plans, unfortunately. All right, let's do what every good Minecrafter does right at the very beginning, and let's go get into a hole. <laughs> let's let's get ourselves some starting resources here. I don't have coal. I've got a lot of food though. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some bread here. All right. And let's go we'll get ourselves a bunch of iron um, and a bunch of other stuff. All right, let's put this away. Uh, oh, this gas tier. Sure, we can put this in here. Um, uh, let's keep this stuff. This will be, yeah, we'll put this weird cursed ring away. Don't know what that does. So we're looking for coal, um, and then iron. Cool! Wow, it's easy game. I'm drowning. Let's stand not in the water. Make things faster. Just keeps on going. Ah, whatever. I bet you I can mine this coal faster than we drown. Nope, that's a lie. That's a lie. Actively drowning. What do you mean there are monsters nearby? Okay, cool. So I'm curious if this mod pack has tinkers in it. Is it called constructs? Um, what is, what would I search for if that's in there? It does not? Okay. Didn't look like it. That's literally the only starting point I've ever had for a mod pack, is getting to Tinkerers. Um, in which case, I'll do the only thing I know what to do, and that's to follow my vanilla instincts. And uh, just go dig a hole. Alright, we got coal. Eh? Eh? Help! <laughs> yeah. Okay. What the? Ba -ba -da -ba? Oh, I was looking. I was like, what is this line on my screen? And it turns out I was standing inside the hitbox of something. Um, I need a little bit more wood. Let's grab all of this oak. Now let's turn a couple of these into torches. And let's figure out where our miney bit's gonna go. Ooh, I mean, looks like somebody started this for us, doesn't it? What are you? Vintium. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that for now. Is there a list of mods in this pack? This There's a lot, Bad Panda Bear. Uh, so my advice for that would be... Ooh, iron! Well, that was easy. Uh, would be just like, find a list on CurseForge. Yeah, if you go to the actual page of where it's at, you'll find everything. But there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Cave roots. Gotcha. So many cave roots. Ooh, what are you? 
bauxite. Bauxite is another word for copper or aluminum. Help, what's bauxite? <laughs> Bauxite's aluminum? Okay, thank you. So if I want to do any sort of like weird electricity thing, that's probably what we're looking for there. Wait, is it alu aluminium? Sorry, I <laughs> my Canadian tongue isn't used to pronouncing that word. We're just going to not bother touching the weird blue glowy ore that we don't know anything about right now. Could be radioactive. I don't know. It could unleash a demon. Ooh, what are you? Copper. You're so very shiny. All right, let's try going this way now. Ha <laughs> ha ha! That's a, that's a cave and waiting to happen. Look at the watercolor, chat. Wait, hold on. Am I going up? Where, where does this lead? Oh my God, it's already connected. Amazing. Hey, Ander Chris, thank you very much for 10 months of support, friend. Wow, these caves are kind of everywhere. Little, like, hot spring grotto thing going on over there. All right, good, good. A lot of potential here. I remember, I know I passed some iron. We'll go, pardon me, we'll go back in a second. Hmm. Roof copper. All right. So somewhere along the way here, we're probably going to have to get rid of this waterfall. I apologize. Yeah, we saw some more resources. Let's grab all of these and let's get ourselves a smelter started. We'll use the smelter to get ourselves a couple of iron tools. And then, I mean, heck, let's just go. Let's go get ready for some uh, some diamond hunting. I don't think anything quite says, oh, eh, don't want that to cave in. We'll leave that coal. Nothing quite says starting Minecraft playthrough quite like your first diamond hunt, eh? Right, furnace. Let's make ourselves a furnace. Get the old iron cooking. I keep trying to control click things away. I've been playing too many different crafting games that have different uh, sets of controls. How many streams until I try and get that coal, forget about it, and die in a cave avalanche? Uh, probably two. Oh, how do you ore double in this pack? See, I'm not an experienced mod player. That's not where my mind goes. That is a great question, though, because that's one of the first things you often set up in a mod pack is you're like, all right, I don't want to have to mine ore like a peasant. I'm going to make a machine get the ore for me. <laughs> you know, work, uh, work smarter, not harder. All right, so we have enough materials here. Let's actually go ahead and give ourselves two picks, one shovel. Uh, and that should be enough to get us a, us a very good, very, very, very good starting dig. All right, we got this. Let's grab a couple more sticks just so we have some stuff on us. Mm, I choose you, Jungle Log, to become all of my sticks.
All right. So we have this beautiful cave system here. I think, I think we're just going to make our mine entrance just right off of it. And that's going to be, it's going to be right here. We're just going to use our stone pick until it breaks. Good start. Good start. All right, so let's see if I can do the modded thing here where you can place a block under. Oh, oh yes. Oh, the little the little things that you can't do in vanilla. Yo, we modded now, chat. If you're really careful in modded, you can place a block under another block. You just have to wait for... Apparently not that time. I mean, we're in a cave. It'd be rude not to explore. Is it strange to anyone else that I haven't seen, like, even a zombie or anything yet? <gasps> oh, okay, well, there, there's the zombie. I mean, isn't it weird that we haven't found, like, diamonds or anything yet? Wait, is the server on easy? Look at this cave! Is it on easy? Is it slash difficulty hard? Not quite sure why I'm grabbing copper or bauxite. I imagine I'm going to need it soon. But uh, for now, I am trying to stick to what I'm familiar with, what I'm comfortable with, which is the vanilla stuff. Ooh, it's blue. Oh man, Certus Quartz? I've used that before in some type of weird machine stuff. Oh, I probably could have brought a shulker box with me for a much longer mining session. Nah, this is fine. Minecraft player hoards items. I am like the anti-hoarder. So many times playing with like James and Uno, they're like, ah, just make a storage drive, slap everything in there. I'm like, no. I refuse to acknowledge... Uh, an appetit or this is a very small or it's a french joke that's hilarious and i'm just like i don't want everything i don't want thirty thousand seeds that's stupid <laughs> what are we what are we teaching people if you're hoarding all the seeds No, Uno, no, it never comes in handy. You never need 30,000 seeds. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> You're basically just a dragon at that point. You're just hoarding because you like numbers go up. Ah. Uh. All right, I see iron up there. Ooh, I see a lot of iron up there. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a staircase. Let's try and navigate up our staircase. Zinc? Nope. How else do we measure wealth in Minecraft? All right. Oh, right. More iron this way. Great. <laughs> 
Chris. Nah, Surge is right. Turns out you actually need 40,000 seeds. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, let's grab all this coal. But if you want to transplant an entire biome, galaxy brain. If I don't hoard the seeds and the chickens go hungry, how will I even face Joe? That's fair. I didn't consider that. I didn't consider the, the implication of not hoarding seeds and what impact that would have on my relationship. I mean... <laughs> mm. Wait, I'm out of torches? How is that even possible? Look at all of these caves, chat. Is this like a sneak peek of what we're going to see in 1.17? Like, look at how cool this is. What is this? Oh, it's a murder ravine. Uh, no. I'm going to be so lost down here, chat. Holy moly. I thought those were eyes for a second. I thought those were just like really ominous glowing eyes in the distance. I'm like, well, I guess we die. Oh, hey, look, I went in a circle. <laughs> I was just like, what's that light source? Have we found lava? And then I... uh Turns out we're not lost. Man, how is it... What's it like being so good at video games? Hello, gentleman crow. Welcome. All right, let's grab this good stuff. Let's grab all this iron. I don't want to keep exploring too much at this level. Oh, wow. We're already at like negative 15. We're almost at diamond level. Stick to the plan, Jaeger. Stick to the plan. Diamonds? Oh, that's that French ore again. Oh, I'm at Y49. Right. The other number is my Z coordinate. Right, of course. Remember, really good at video games. We just went over that. Another, another example. All right, let's grab all this iron, then we have to get deeper. Diamonds at the same Y level? I could check, or I could just go with my gut instinct. Look, if we get down there, and then we're hunting for a very long time, and we strike out, we'll check. Handy to note that JEI modded Minecraft player's best friend, a little handy search engine, uh, ooh, it's dark up there, search engine inventory thingy, gives you that information, you could just be like, tell me where the diamonds are, and the game is like, they generate predominantly at this Y level, you're like, thank you, speaking of thank you, mwe, thank you very much for 31 months of support, friend, I really do appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a new cave system, Surge. Grab all the visible iron, then head down. 
So I always put my torches on the right, so if I follow the torches on the left, we can always find our way back. Mm. All right, I hate to do this. I really have to pee. I'm going to hide myself in this corner really quick. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you very much for sticking around, friends. All right, let's mine our way out of this hole. Let's keep exploring stuff. Oh. <clears throat> All right, back to our staircase, and down we go. Grab this copper. All right, you know what? If it's literally right in front of us, I'll grab this zinc. Why not? Be rude not to. <laughs> Goodbye, gravel. Sadly, only got a few seconds of number one streamer chair. I apologize. Look, chair has a really hard time constantly being in the spotlight, and sometimes chair enjoys just getting sort of a break, right? They get to say hi. They're immediately overwhelmed by all the affection, and they just like... They're like, all right, you know what? That was nice. That was nice. All right, so we go under... And there, we keep going. Thank you, modded. We go under and there. We go under. Go under. Does that not work when there's something too below? Apparently not. I want to grab that iron, though.
Oh, haha! I'm too fast. There we go. Uh, wait, what's this way? Okay, we don't want to update that, so we're gonna put it here. Gabba Hey, our first creeper. Wow. Have creepers always had this many hit points? That was really quite something. Uh, da -ba -da -ba. You set the server to hard? I mean, I t so normally I play in hard. Not because I feel like I have anything to prove, but uh, a lot of, like, farms, mob farms and stuff like that are just more efficient at hard. So that's pretty standard. So I, I, I would have imagined I had some sort of idea of how many hit points a creeper had. Wow, this just keeps going with the caves. I saw those move for a second, and I was like, that's odd. Wait, what's that light source, out of curiosity? Because there's definitely something glowing around this corner, right? No? Is it just a weird, like, dynamic lighting thing? How did... what? Huh? Often use a gold or iron sword a lot recently, because we've been doing uh, speedruns. You have to practice with all sorts of different loadouts instead of just like, you don't always have netherite. Head. Cave mushroom. Glowy mushrooms. No, those are just regular mushrooms next to lava. These humble beginnings, right? Isn't this so pretty, chat? Oh, I have to keep going down. Um, exclamation mod pack might be a really clever alias for the, the command as well. Just like have it, have it reproduce the exact. <laughs> Thank you, Arclight. Hello. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. Okay, I do 20% of its health every hit. So I can do math. Five hits, huh? Wait, six hits? What? Can't say much like that. Ooh, is that our first lapis? It is. The classic bluey chat. Ninja Sock Monkey, what's up, friend? Thank you for five months. Thanks for providing great entertainment while I work. Hey, my pro blip a blip. My pleasure, friend. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's not a diamond. Wait, this is special astral sorcery marble? Huh. And Thopter Spy, thank you very much for 19 months of support. Is all marble astral sorcery, or is this a special astral sorcery marble? Oh, uh, 10 is too low. I want to be at 11. All right. You think non-astral marble was deactivated. Oh, okay. Right, probably because it was so confusing to have, like, marble that you couldn't use for it, I guess. Yeah, because because it needs the special marble to be like, why can't I use this marble? Um, Skunky Blitz, thank you very much for 10 months. Chat, this has been 
very, very, very flattering. There have been so many subs so far today. So thank you, everyone, for the very warm reception back into Minecraft. It certainly has been a while. Diamonds? Our first redstone! Ooh. That's going to fall directly into lava, so I'm not going to touch it. But it's there. And that's exciting. Ah! Yes! Yes! Diamonds! Alright, so... Wait, what the what? Cinnabar. So we're checking for lava first. Alright, so it's only two. Which is maybe a little troll. Because that means I can't make a pick. Ooh. Ooh. What are you? Oh, more Vintium. Okay. Okay, can we talk about this beautiful underground lake? Oh my god, I love it. It's stunning. Look at this place. Beautiful. Dimensional shard ore. Don't like that. Do we live here? We have a very beautiful place upstairs. What's up, Priest of Zen 2? Appreciate that. No, no, no. This isn't... We got a beautiful base. We have a base at home. Well, maybe not. We have a base coming. We have home at home. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Keep this line going. And we'll keep mining until we're out of pick durability. Hopefully finding some more diamond on the way. And so I need to start thinking about fiery glass ore. Okay, sure. I need to start thinking about what early mod I want to get into. Because, yeah, early ore doubling is very important. A couple people nailed it with that. But there's other ways to get powerful too. There's Astral, which is great. Astral lets you start doing like faster mining. It gives you better reach. It lets you better, stronger, faster version of yourself, which is kind of cool. Uranium. Yeah, typically I would start with Tinkers. Oh my goodness. Sorry, let's just go for a swim. Wait, how deep does this go? All the way down to... Oh, flat bedrock. Okay. Ow! What hit me? What hit me? That scared me. Oh, there's some diamonds. Wait, there's diamonds? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's diamonds right above where we came out. Okay, now I'm afraid of the water. Something hit me. Ooh. All right. Guess who's got eight diamonds, chat? Did did you guess me? Because it's, it's me. I'm afraid to get back in the water. I'm afraid there's going to be some type of, like, awful cave fish that's going to bite me. Look at this. <gasps> what are you? Monster box. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Well, we're not going this way. Oh, great. Okay, so the mods are here and they're helping. So important question, who got eight diamonds? Thank you for that. Yeah, 
Yeah, who wanted to go to that lake anyways? That lake? Ah. This is so pretty. Alright, let's do a branch or two. Let's go this way. I bet you there's diamonds this way. Diamonds? Alright. So, with nine... Oh, congratulations! 53% of you correctly identify that the person who got eight diamonds is me! Mm. Mm. Three? Hey, Floofy, thank you for 100 biddies. So wait, who has eight diamonds? Me. So the perfect width for diamond hunting is three, right? It's been a while because it's too wide. It's not four, it's three. I'm just going to say yes, I'm a genius. And I'll wait for Twitch chat to catch up and confirm that I am in fact a genius. <clears throat> What is the console command to bring up hit points? Is it F3 plus H? Yes, it was. One durability. Wow, I'm so good at this game. <clears throat> All right, up we go. Really need to make a staircase here. Depends on efficiency versus effectiveness. Either three or seven. I've never heard of seven temporally, or I. Is seven trying to take advantage of the spawning per chunk or something like that? Every third means you can't miss any. Every fourth is slightly more efficient because the diamonds are almost double wide. Yeah, but I thought with every if you went every four, there is a chance that you missed them. Uh, or you could miss them. All right, start smelting up all of our iron here. So iron will let us get a a bucket. Bucket's going to be important. There's zinc ore. <clears throat> we'll keep the 64 ore. Seven is the most effective. As it's the least likely to cross overlapped bunch nodes of other ores. Huh. You get the most fresh nodes per exposed block. Huh. Interesting. It's called feather mining. Seven with one by one. Interesting. Hey, what's up, Zed? Welcome. You can miss them with three, two. That's a little bit less likely. All right. So let's talk about the theory we're talking about here. So diamonds spawn typically in a two by two chunk. So this is what diamonds look like. So if you go every three, <clears throat> it'll be either exposed on this side because you'll see them, but you could miss it on this side, right? If you go every four, there's a chance that you completely miss it if it perfectly spawns between the two. Every seven is interesting. But I guess the idea here is you're exposing as much block as possible and you're just like mathematically... there's. I guess you're exposing more fresh ore for every, like... So with three, you're never going to miss any, but you're mining more. I guess with seven, you're just more likely to maximize the chance of hitting a diamond when mining. Is that the idea? 
One second, friends. Cool. You don't get every ore, but you get more ore for your time. It's effectiveness versus efficiency. Ah, cool. Anyways, I have diamonds. Feels good. Feels good. And soon we'll have enough iron to make ourselves some basic stuff like a bucket. Super important. Just throw that on the ground as one does. The more I've been playing, the more I've really started to value a bucket as one of like the first things I invest in in a playthrough. It's, it's wild how high I evaluate buckets. Someone who's never played Minecraft, the fact that this game has mathematical mining theories is hilarious and ridiculous and very cool. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, a lot of it comes down to knowledge of how things generate in the game and then optimizing the time, right? Because there's a lot of randomness. So much randomness in this game. So what you're trying to do is maximize the returns in your time, I guess. I don't know. It's tricky. Maybe that's not the greatest way of describing that. I don't care about this cave route. And so it begins. Since I'm hoarding just random junk. All right. We have 19 iron. I could make myself some basic armor stuff out of this or or let's figure out i'm going to type or doubling or doubling didn't do anything i'm going to type or doubling or doubling didn't do anything god there's so many items in this game Uses for iron? That's an interesting idea. Iron ore. So we click on this and we hit O for uses? Is that right? Ore child. No. What's the button to figure out uses? U for uses. There we go. Okay. So. There's blasting. What does blasting do? There's smelting, yeah. Stone cutting, quartz grindstone. Turns one iron ore into two iron dust. The iridescent altar, no. Starlight infuser, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Are we supposed to double our ore through astral? One ore turns into three? Oh. Astral is fun. I didn't realize you could ore double with astral sorcery, though. The grindstone doubles. And then what do you do? Do you smelt the iron dust afterwards? Astral is fun. Yeah, if I remember... Uh, how do I go back a step? If I remember Astral correctly, this is... The Starlight Infuser is a ways away. This is probably like a couple hours at least to get into. You don't technically double your ore with Astral. Oh, I, I apologize. You triple. Getting three from one is a kind of doubling. Look, okay... <laughs> Everyone's an expert, I see. Okay, so a quartz grindstone requires nether, nether quartz. And what's this? A wooden gear. How do I get a wooden gear? Wooden gear comes from sticks? Okay. Oh, no. Nether quartz or certs crystals. Do I need to charge this or do I just put it down and grind it? I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, so let's go get ourselves three of these ores. Which we so conveniently left lying around because we didn't want to touch them. So. 
Here's the first. I mean, here's the first. And we have two and three. Ooh, a charged one. Let's grab this too. Shocking. There are even more pages in the iron processing? Oh, no. Uh, you... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Right. Immersive engineering. There's the arc furnace and the crusher. Right. Oh, I forgot about the crusher. The redstone furnace. Yeah. The induction smelter. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what's create? Holy moly, chat. All right, create is supposed to be very, very, very cool. Okay. So here's an important question. This is going to set the tone for the beginning of our playthrough. Ignore that. What do we want to work towards in the early game? So we have the option of applied energetic, blah, 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 applied energistics. Two. We have astral sorcery. And then we have. What was the other one? Immersive engineering. I didn't actually see anything in create for ore doubling. Oh, you use lava? That's so funny. All right, so let's talk about stuff here. Applied Energistics 2. I don't know if I've done this before. Astral Sorcery is very cool. Um, it's slow to set up, though. Okay, so let's put the pros there. Pros, very cool. Con, um, slow to get started. <clears throat> and we've done this before. Immersive Engineering... Very cool. Also very cool. Uh, sorry, let's do more descriptions. Magic focus. This is sort of like a conveyor belt focus. Cons, uh, huge. Like we need a huge workspace area. Uh, requires power, which is like minus three. Uh, let's make it minus five. <laughs> uh, we've done this before. Apply to energistics. It's new. Create doesn't do ore doubling. So I'm not going to add create to the list. Yeah, immersive engineering is you make a factory. And we did a lot of building a factory. Actually, the majority of our playthrough in Surgecraft 2 was centered around astral sorcery and immersive engineering. So the nice thing about this When did it become nighttime? How long was I in that notepad? Yes, burn. Applied Energistics also doesn't do anything with ore doubling. What do you mean, doesn't do anything with ore doubling? If it doubles ore, then we've achieved our goal. So I think what I want to do is, what's our goal, right? Our goal 
is to quickly and cheaply double our ores. Last thing we want our pretty heels is a big factory. We can add a factory underground though. Um, if mine o'clock did it, you can assume I didn't do any of the actual mod work in that game. My role in, in mine o'clock is mostly resource gathering and aesthetics. A2 doubles slowly. It still doubles. And if it's slow, is it cheap? The key thing we want is cheap. Or doubling always needs power. Does it? A2's doubling is strictly for the early game. Perfect! You have to sit at the grindstone and hold click. That's fine. <laughs> We're two hours into this playthrough. Is this not the early game? That sounds great. A2 doubling is only manual, no automation. Great. All right, we're doing it. I think we've found our question, our, our answer there, haven't we? What does serenity mean? Hold on. What is, what is happening? Why can't I see what this buff does? Normally, I could hover over that and it would tell me what we're doing. Ah, whatever. Okay, iron ore. Let's get ourselves some early Dublin. So the quartz grindstone. How do I make the quartz grindstone? Um, how do I save this recipe again? It's like A? Yes. I have oak log up there. All right, I need a wooden gear. What? I literally... Hello? That was weird. It's like, where did my wooden gear go? All right, grindstone. So how does this work? I put this down. I put iron ore into it. Needs a hand crank. Oh. There are three cranks. I'm going to go over the one from Applied Energistics. It is a bunch of sticks in a wavy pattern. Got it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh, I love it. Do, 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 Wait, Snurge is going to steal the server. Snurge, no! It's going to walk away with the server. Hmm. Isn't modded amazing, Twitch chat? Quality content. Truly a brave new world, right? Does it grind it fine enough to be espresso? Oh, I wish. Actually... I take that back. I do not wish to make it to make coffee out of ground iron. What is this mod exactly? Uh, do you mean the wooden crank or the whole mod pack? So with modded Minecraft, it's it's always kind of a mess to try and describe what is this mod exactly, because uh, mod packs are a collection of mods lovingly created by mod curators, which is what Serafina has done. Um, but oftentimes, it's just a bunch of different stuff that's been thrown together. It might have a theme, it might not have a theme. This has magic, this has tech, this has 
new biomes. It's just a completely different experience within the same game. Um, and sometimes it can be very difficult to navigate because there's there's not often like a really straightforward progression in terms of where you should start. A lot of different mods have different expectations of where you are in the game when you start them, how you not, I don't know. It's, it's kind of tricky. Hey, look, all right, 60 iron dust. Do I put you in the furnace? Wait, I have to take you out of this first. Do I just smelt you? I do. That's exciting. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so sometimes it can be really tough, especially in the early game of like, all right, how do I get this off the ground? What resources do I want? Re what resources do I want? I don't want. Modded adds just an overwhelming amount of different ores, different seeds, different resources. Yeah. The good thing you can do anything. The bad thing is you can do anything. Absolutely. So normally within a mod, there's, if provided it has a manual, some of them have manuals, sometimes they don't, um, you can find a progression path to follow. And that can be really neat. My favorite I've ever done is probably Astral Sorcery, which has like giant quests and lore, um, magic, thaumaturgy, thaumcraft, whatever, is also pretty cool. But yeah, in this particular case, where do you start? Well, you're like, well, I have four different starting points and they have pros and cons. It's a lot of player overload and decision paralysis. Oh, that's a mood. Hey, what's up, Vez? Welcome, friend. Lately, I've been enjoying progression packs where we have quest lines. Sure, cool. Didn't know modding was that layered. Layered is an interesting way to, to look at it. Uh, maybe convoluted is a better word to describe. It's kind of a beautiful hot mess, but it's our beautiful hot mess, right? Yeah, if it feels like there's no rhyme or reason to it, that's that's sort of what it is. Uh, and what a good mod pack creator like Serafina does is they try and find, they try and get rid of conflicts. They try and give you lanes that you can pick and you can explore. Uh, if one mod gives you one way of doing something, uh, typically try and keep it so something else doesn't just like straight up negate that. All right, let's start getting some wood and let's start thinking about where our house is going to go. While things smelt. So what I think I want to do is I think I want to have like a cozy house here that kind of sticks out of the hill. I thought about a hobbit hole previously, but maybe we'll have a house that comes out of it a bit. And then we've got room for activities inside. And I haven't built with birch in a while. And I'm not just saying that because it's here. But we haven't built with birch in a while, so let's uh, <laughs> let's get some of that. What is this tree, by the way? Charred log. Huh. Look at these pandas! Yes! All right. What the... Oh! Pardon? All right, then. That's really neat. That's really neat. <laughs> so what was the old tree pack? You know, the ones that had like the weird dynamic trees that grew and did all those weird branchy stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Was that what's called dynamic trees? Yeah, it looks like that's gone. But this is neat. So dynamic trees was cool because like the trees had roots. And that, that was good. Uh, dynamic trees was weird though because they took forever to grow and forever to chop down. Was that the Seattle Space Needle in the background? Yep. Oh, 
Look, Seattle can be in our fantasy game as well, chat. So what else should our house be made out of? Ooh, wait, is this supposed to be the base? Uh, sure. Let's chop down some of this as well. Oh, no. Is it going to chop the whole thing down? What the? No! I'm sorry, tree. I guess I can replant you. Wait, hold on. Time out. Do cherry blossoms... What is this? Do cherry blossoms have cherries in real life? I didn't think they did. I didn't think that's how cherry blossoms worked. They do? Really? We have cherry blossoms in Victoria and they don't have cherries. They're what cherries come from. I don't think that's true. I mean, there are cherry trees, but I don't think they're the same thing as like this style of cherry blossom. Generally, ornamental cherry trees don't bear many fruit. Huh. All right. Because I know a lot of fruit trees flower the specific the species cultivated for the blossoms has been cultivated so it no longer produces cherries oh there we go all right that makes a lot more sense actually they produce an insignificant amount of food fruit okay all right so what's our contrast color here maybe it is white and red that can be kind of cute so we have a very light wood from the birch here Ugh. Modded. Where you're just like walking around, you open your inventory, and it's just an absolute mess. This is Minecraft. Apples come from oak trees. Okay, touche. <laughs> Good point. Sarquin. I, s sure. I apologize. Thank you very much for that brand new sub, friend. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day. Appreciate the support. Corcoran. Ah, thank you for the clarification. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and plant ourselves a little birch farm area. Ooh, what if we put some marble in it too? All right, what's our what's our build palette going to look like? Could be marble. Go down and get some marble. It's definitely going to have birch in it. So I like the idea of a little bit of pink from the cherry blossom trees. We have white. We could use those as logs. We can use uh, quartz. Not quartz, pardon me. We could use marble as the walls. Okay, I like this so far. I uh, have so much cobble. I need another chest. Uh, I guess we're going to make a little bit of birch here. Sure. I don't need like four different kinds of food on me. Oh no. Wait. That's better now. Wow. Look at that. I thought I put um, 32 in there. I guess I only put 31. And so it turned into 60. 
or maybe I don't know. Oh, it's going the other way around, reverb. So I not marble flooring, marble walls, birch for the um, pillars. And maybe like a pink redwood for the roof. I'm hoping that's what color this is. It's pretty dark, actually. Pretty dark. Anyways, let's get more of everything we need. Um, let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of stacks. Everything before we go too much further. Has a small chance to not double. Really? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Why would you do that? Imagine not doubling. This is really nice, by the way. Wait. Hold on. You made a liar out of me. This is really nice. Am I... <laughs> And they double as a food source? Holy moly. The trick is we just have to replant all of them. What are the big flag post mods in this? I... I would assume I have any understanding of like the modding world at all. I think this mod has a lot of everything. Hey, what's up, Lindley Tex? Oh no! Hello, fish! I save you. I save you. You saved yourself. What were you? You know what? That's fine. Wait, was that a koi? Really? I love it. I think this is a bigger mod pack, Vez. I don't think there's necessarily a couple of big things there. Or maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's wrong. Maybe this is just like, there's a lot. And that's exciting. Hello, dear. Settle down, please. I really expected it for half a second to make that ridiculous noise that the deers make in Valheim. Just, or whatever. <laughs> little, little disappointed that it didn't now. All right, let's replant this birch forest as well. I'm excited to check out a little bit of Create. I've heard really good things. Hey, what's up, 99 Problems? Thank you so much for 34 months. So close to that new bean. Right on the edge for that emerald bean friend. You hate that sound so much? It kind of grew on me after a while. Wait, hold on. What? Tree? What happened there? Oh, do you think I shift clicked? Oh. All right, you want to do a bit of science chat? Let's find out. I'm going to hold shift and click. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. If for whatever reason you don't want to take the entire tree down. So I was so excited for this mod pack, this playthrough to start, that I I was actually like unable to fall asleep. I was I was like a kid on Christmas Eve. Just being like, oh man. We start tomorrow. Ah Mind is racing. So if I'm a little Hey. 
Yes? So I might need to bug Joe for an emergency extra coffee today. The rare triple coffee day. My love? Save me from myself. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff over here. Oh, that's from uh, Leaf Decay. All right. Have I decided on the storyline for this pack? No, we're way too early. I just barely figured out what I want the base to look like. Who put a hole here? I gotta talk to management. Hard to get to. <laughs> Pig hogging the spotlight, right? Dang. A <laughs> rare three coffee day. Or as I like to call it, a day. <laughs> Alright, so how are we doing here? We've got a couple of stacks. That should be enough for all of that. Let's go down into the mines with the intention of surfacing a bunch of marble. But what if, in addition to marble, also grab diamonds? Wait, hold on. Let's check really quickly. So we're going to check what I level, Y level, marble generates. Um, I want I? Nope. Is it O for ore information? U? What button do I click to figure out where it uh, where it generates? R, thank you. Exactly as intended. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Krat Arona. I appreciate it. You're going to buy me that coffee? Yo, thanks, friend. R for recipe. Okay. Uh, R is not doing anything unless there's a key binding conflict. Show recipe R. That's weird. So U for uses. Make sure you're in utility mode. What do I, how do I do that? Oh, it might not have the mod for that. Oh, I thought that was a JEI thing, but that's actually like a different mod. Actually, if other people have this mod pack and they're like, nah, dog, you can do that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume it's impossible and move on with my life. Okay, so let's go get ourselves. Wait, where did I put dirt? It wasn't here? Yeah, it was. Let's go get ourselves uh, like a couple stacks of the good stuff. Um, and hopefully get some more diamonds while we're at it, too. Tested with iron ore, no entry found. Okay, great. Oh, I heard emails. I think somebody, like, actually bought me a coffee, too. Thank you. Not that, like, the, the gift sub wasn't there, too. That's very generous of you, friends. Okay, hold on. Sorry, time out. We have an even more important thing we have to do, and that is, I can't, I can't possibly hit my head every step we go down. That's, no. No. We're going to be going up and down this staircase a lot. I think I have two pet peeves in Minecraft. Pet peeve the first, people who chop down trees... And then leave like a floating mushroom at the top? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. mm 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 That's a big no-no. And then, um, pet peeve the second, staircases that are too high. Oh. Oh. Wait, I didn't bring sticks. I need to find coal. There we go. All right, um, let's mine this coal really quickly here so we can make some torches. Hugely agree on the stair height? Yeah. Okay. 
That's right, I just squinted in the dark. That's why we're making torches. All right. So, let's grab all this marble. So what'd that get us? About 30? It's not great. Wait a second. I think there was more marble that we passed. Then we're going to do a little bit of a, another diamond hunting session. If you aren't building comically tall staircases like some kind of dwarf, are you even living? Oh. Yo, I have just the grandest plans for when 1.17 drops. I'm going to make just the most spectacular underground kingdom you've ever seen. You're going to be like, dang! And I'm going to be like, I know. Yeah, I hope you like staircases. Like grand entranceways. What is this? Weathered limestone. Gross. Didn't realize I had such strong feelings about limestone, but here we are. And that was, that's probably one of the, the big things that's sort of limiting my, my start to the storytelling for this mod pack is I've been thinking a lot of what I wanted to do in vanilla 1.17 that my brain hasn't really settled on what we're going to do here yet. But yeah, once we start the actual, like, the beginning of a mod pack is, the beginning of any playthrough, part of me, is a lot of just like, okay, let's get the essentials down, let's figure it out, and then you might have an idea for, like, the main build you want to do, and you can start transitioning into that stuff, and we're not, we'll get there, we're just not there yet. Weathered limestone is like a worse diorite. Wow. Look, chat said it, not me. Yeah, that's fair too. With the new mod pack, there's a ton to learn too. And it's hard to be like, here's what our whole narrative is going to be when you're like, I don't even know what half the stuff in here does. All right, well, we found more marble and more iron, which is great. Always need more iron. Coal's good too. Is it just me or the caves empty? Are you talking about um like hostile mobs? Because I've been feeling that too, Wormbo. We have fought, well, with the exception of that mob spawner, which got kind of spooky and we ran away. Um, we have fought two zombies and one creeper. We haven't even seen a skeleton. We said that and I thought I just heard a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, and I'm alone on the server, so I should have the entire mob cap loaded onto little old me at any given time. I have been told that this is a more deadly, oh no, than normal mod pack though. Which I'm a little bit intimidated to learn what that means. But maybe we're in like a safe starter area and it'll get more deadly the longer we play. See, look at this. Oh, wait, that's bad. Oh! 
All right, who had to go and say it was too safe? Which one of you is to blame for that? Right, I don't have armor on. Wow, I just got hit for like half my hit points. Why do we have a golden sword? Because we found it. Because it was free. It was on sale. Wait, are they dropping like bone blocks and stuff? What? What are these drops? What? Gold ore? Hold on, time out. Those are some like really good drops. Oh, crap. Buckets. Mm. Hey, look, more bread. Ooh, and it's the unbroken spider webs. That's exciting. All right, let's head back over this way. Did anybody not make it out? All right, so let's head back to that marble. That was fun. A little bit of excitement. Weird to see me ignore clay. I don't typically build with a lot of bricks or anything like that. Clay is the sort of thing that I'll... I'll hunt down if I need, but I don't commonly build. Uh, gravel, on the other hand, because I do a lot of stuff with concrete, is something I'll typically grab. And just start hoarding. Uh, that's odd. I can't help but notice you're floating! Breaking the laws... Gravity there, gravel. Yeet. Yeah, clay is the sort of thing that I find just like sits and clutters up my storage area. Until suddenly I'm just like, oh, I need a million of these like in the way and then I never have enough but I almost never need it all right where are we going how are we doing inventory wise oh we got lots of room this cave water is just so pretty all right well we're doing a good job on the marble we're doing a very bad job on finding more diamonds It can be a limiter on a lot of mod packs. All right. Okay, where's our staircase? I think this is it. Get back. Oh, an ender friend. Hello, little buddy. Let's find some diamonds. So we went that way until we hit lava. Do you have any radical thoughts on the new ore distribution? I think the new ore distribution in 1.17 is really cool. Um, one of their stated goals in 1.17 is to make mining, I, I don't necessarily want to say more immersive, but more strategic. And currently, you can just like get down to Y level 11 or 12 or whatever your preference is in Minecraft and just dig in a straight line and you'll hit everything. Because the deeper you go, wow, I don't know, the deeper you go, uh, you just kind of find everything, right? 
So the idea of mixing up the distribution such that, okay, if I want iron, I have to go at a different height. I like that. I think it's neat. Uh, I like that emeralds are going to appear more so in mountains above ground than underground. That's kind of cool. Yeah, big fan. Not again! We might be dead here. Because I have zero armor still. Now, important fact here. Poison can't kill you. Poison can only ever get you to one hit point. So we wait for the poison to end. We reheal. Similar to something like Terraria for the ore stuff. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. 1.17 looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. Another thing that's changed recently is I find myself increasingly using um, an axe over a sword as my, like, go-to weapon. That's that same spider. Okay, hello, poison spider. Yeah, unenchanted, I just find um, an axe is just better than a sword in almost every way. Is it because of Valheim? It's not because of Valheim. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are there, chat. Oh, that's a good coffee. What coffee is this, my love? Wait, is this the fancy new one? Oh, this is a very good coffee. Hey, oh my goodness, chat. We have another emerald bean. Shark fists. My friend Max. Three years. Uh, this is a geisha from a roastery called Momo. This is a very nice, very expensive coffee. And, oh my goodness, is it ever lovely. Like, look at this bag. So this is a Korean roastery. Yesha Village Narsha, Ethiopia. Natural process with tasty notes of apple juice, blueberry, and syrupy. Roasted in Busan. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's such a lovely coffee. Oh my goodness. Wow. Theoretically, if I wanted to send you coffee, would it be easiest to send it to the moon base and adjust it to you? No. Uh, especially recently, there's a delay on uh, how long it takes things to get opened. I have a P.O. box and Joe checks it weekly. So coffee doesn't spoil. Diamonds! Coffee doesn't spoil, but it does go stale. And so you typically want to get to it while it's still nice and fresh. And uh, the moon base, while lovely, can sometimes result in missing that like, that peak period of uh, when a coffee's at its best. All right, let's do a little bit of caving here. See if we can't find some exposed diamonds. Ah, oh, look at these underwater, underwater, underground lakes. Aren't these just stunning? That's another creeper. Let's not. Let's go this way. I'm out of torches. That's bad. Hopefully nothing kills me. Diamonds? No diamonds. Oh, hey, what's up, Koo? Oh, we're having a great time. 
Oh my goodness. What a lovely coffee. All right, let's just keep going straight here. Oh, pardon me. Getting that sneeze mute like a boss, though. My favorite band recently announced they were putting out coffee roasts. What? Yo, that's hilarious. I love those collaborations. Oh, hello, Lava. Goodbye, Lava. You thought you were powerful and Bernie. But you underestimated the power of Bucket. Got recruited for early morning keys and forgot to drink coffee? What? Your coffee deserved better, Koo. Alright, we're gonna go for one more patch of diamonds and we'll call this mining session a huge success oh no maybe if I just ignore it it won't attack me yeah let's do that Hey, what's up, Reborn Flames? Go oh, to the idea of making themed tea blends for the stream, but I'm an incredibly casual tea drinker. Yeah. I mean, obviously, my dream sponsorship is if, like, a totally legit world-class coffee roaster is like, yo, Surge. We want to make, we want to partner up and make, like, a streaming blend that you can sell. Be like, heck yeah, let's go. But I think the margins are not good enough on high level, like really, really, really nice fancy coffee that it might not be realistic. Where are my diamonds at? It's unfortunate. Wait, what's this? Amethyst ore. Never seen you before. Sobriety test. What? Doesn't make any sense. Hey, what's up, Zagrog? Thank you for 31 months. The soft deadline for my thesis writing is less than a week away now. Been on a roll these last few days, but the writing has slowed. Hope my conversation with my thesis counselor tomorrow helps. Well, good luck, friend. Certainly very exciting. Diamonds? How far do we have to go here? I just want more diamonds. I just want enough diamonds for a back at a backup pickaxe. Damien with a brand new prime sub. Thank you, friend. And Lady McCall, thank you for gifting a sub to the A in map. In Greek and Roman times, amethyst was worn to ward off drunkenness. Really? No idea. Can we just talk about how beautiful this waterfall is? The creeper behind it? Skeleton count is still zero. I'm gonna grab this marble. Yeah, the most picturesque creeper. Is Joe my significant other? Yep. She's in the other room working away on thumbnails. She said, that's a me. We also have an explain Joe command. There it is. Kitsune, thank you. Let's 
such a good influence. May as well make use of this Amazon Prime. Thank you very much. Very flattering. Ooh, look, the water isn't updating. Hey, it's skeleton! Ow, I'm dying. Alright, fine. Uh, that's your waterfall, and I'll leave. I mean, fair. Oh my goodness. What a coffee. The only skeleton here is the one inside you. <laughs> Followed immediately by, wow, that timing. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. Uh, so we missed the diamonds because the diamonds were in fact here all along. The water's a different color, Vez. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's got a very subtle color change compared to normal, and I think it looks just very pretty. <laughs> I, I don't... Did anyone else hear that? Someone outside just made a very interesting noise. May not have got picked up by the microphone. It was very funny. It sounded like a very surprised yodel. Do you think skeletons attack you because they perceive you as a trapped skeleton? They're like, oh no, bro, I got you. Hold on. <laughs> I'll get you out of that mess. Oh, that's so close to being the color of blue that we wanted. Man, all these fake blues everywhere. Pardon me. Right, Max? Oh, geez, it hurts. Help! Ah, <sighs> that was a lot of hiccups. Quicksilver? No. Here, diamonds. <laughs> Work with a hundred bits. Jump care. Appreciate that. Fun fact, Quicksilver is another term for Mercury. That's exciting. But where are my diamonds? That's what I want to know. So here's a question, chat. How important do you think enchanting is in the early game for modded? Do you think mods replace the need for that just due to like different tiers of other gear and such that you can get? Or do you think, right, do you think I want like um, early fortune for my, my diamonds, right? Well, without Tinkers in this mod pack, we're not really replacing that, right? Because, like, in early Minecraft, or early other, other mod packs, you just go Tinkers, and it gives you fortune and silk touch in other ways. But since this one doesn't have Tinkers, does that mean this is a enchanting pack?
Should we get an early like villager training hall set up? Maybe check out the new job blocks and stuff too? Kvik silver is mercury in Swedish. I never really thought about it being something else. Cool. There's more lead, which we need for thermal, which I don't think I'm going to be doing. Tend to avoid early enchants and modded because there's so many more. Oh, interesting. You don't even enchant in vanilla? See, I I treat um, enchanting in vanilla as like critical path. Like, it's so important. It's one of the first things I work on in a vanilla playthrough. It's just like, get diamonds, make your diamonds better. Bam. Step one, step two. But it it's not without some work and some setup. Spider eye, one potato. Get rid of some cobblestone. Zombie flesh. Hey, the Elrad. Oh my goodness, chat. We have a diamond bean. Two years. We get some hearts. Support for that milestone. I really appreciate it. And Full House, thank you so much for eight months of support. Appreciate it, friends. Chanting is such a hassle since I learned about trading. I'm hard on trading. Yes, enchanting. No. So what if you want to... I don't know. It's just like... Trading yes, enchanting no. How do you get your netherite gear then? Like, does that mean you trade for the tool you want and then just put like netherite on it and then replace it every time the durability gets low? Just curious about that. Hey, what's up, Anklag? Yeah, it's just. I don't know. I've every mod pack I've played in recent memory has had tinkers in it, which has been sort of like the the path. Oh, trading for books. Sorry, trading. For, I don't mean enchanting is in blind enchanting. Like if you trade for the book and then put it on your weapon, that's enchanting. Sorry, what did people think when I said enchanting? I'm like, I'm definitely not going to try and randomly roll what I want. I mean enchanting as in like get a villager trading hall. And then chant my gear with the, the right stuff. Great early tools and ore doubling. Right, with tinkers? Yeah, totally. But we don't have that. Don't have that. So we need to rethink. Oh, I'm almost out of torches. I guess that's a good indicator of when we should stop as well. I think enchanting we do the RNG path. Oh, yeah, I don't do that. Because it's bad. <laughs> it's, ah, uh, it takes forever. Sometimes I'll try and enchant the base item just to get like a head start and put books on top of it. And we are not finding more diamonds, are we? All right, let's just give up. Let's go back up top with our massive hull. Yeah, same as me, Priest of Zen 2, RNG the base, and then do the books on top of it. The downside is sometimes you get an enchantment you don't want. Uh, for example, I really actively dislike knockback on a sword. So if I see that, I'm like, oh man. Had way too many fluids today. I have to pee again. I took a pre a pee break like 35 minutes ago. But I'm just like constantly having tea. Can you disenchant? You can also disenchant in Minecraft. Yep. Alright, uh pardon me for one second. Where's our hidey hole?
All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Apologies to all of you people who absolutely love chair. All righty. So we should have more than enough materials to build our starter house now. Uh, do we want to crank and double any more of our ores? Uh, no. No, I think I'll wait. We have seven diamonds, great. I need another diamond box though, don't I? I don't have enough chests. I don't have enough room for all of my stuff. Modded definitely feels like that thing where you just like stuff everywhere. You're like, yeah, sure is. Um. All right, let's make a little bit more room here, just in our little hidey cave. Does this pack have the, um, the chest mover? Was it Snoop Dogg that rage quit mad and left his stream running for a day? Yep, that was exactly Snoop Dogg. What's the what's the thing I'm thinking about? The modded thing. It kind of looks like a like um a fork, and you use it to pick up chests that have full stuff in it. Is that not in this pack? Wait, are storage drawers in this pack? Okay, storage drawers are here. Check for the dolly. No, no dolly either. Yeah, it is chest something, right? I don't think it's in this pack. That's okay.
It's fine. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Right, I can do this, can't I? Oh, hold on, chat. Are you ready? Are you ready for just the most beautiful thing ever? Ah! Auto sorting! Yo, modded, let's go! <laughs> oh, modded. Oh, sometimes, sometimes. Am I right? Uh, no ore. All right. I think it's time for us to build our house chat. So we've collected a bunch of these materials. Let's go ahead and get it started. So I'm hoping marble looks good as a exterior building block. Am I happy with this height? Uh, let's go up one. Go ahead and say it's going to be here. So what do you look like as an exterior? Are you cute? I hope you're cute. House is going to be marbleless. Boo! <laughs> I don't know. Deliberately trying to build out of blocks we don't normally don't build with, just to see if we can make it look good, right? Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which means if I go here, oh, I like that texture. So we do have a lot of options for like different textures of marble too, if we wanted. We could try pillars, we could try like the uh, brick ones too. It's exciting. It's very wiggly. I also think that's taller than I wanted it to go. I'm gonna probably terraform a bit around here too, but I do think six might be too high. Oh, is it? One, two, three at the top there. What kind of shape do I want this to be? I think the other thing is I may have made it too far out because I wanted sort of like um, a facade before you went into the hill, but I wanted it to look like the majority of the base was still in the hill. So that being the case, I do think I need to move this back like three blocks. So let's do that. Oh, buckets. Why did it... 
All right, so apparently it thinks even our structural blocks are a tree and wants to chop the whole thing down. And I mean, that did make it a little bit faster, but very silly. Hi, Serafina. Having a good time. Having a very good time. Oh, I know I can shift click. I was just surprised that it thought that that was a tree. Yeah, the start of the mod pack today was a lot of like, oh my god, a beetle! <laughs> What's this? Oh my <laughs> right? Alright, one, two, three, let's try here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Liking this better. Liking this better. Good. Sorry, pond. Sort of in the way of control of uh, stuff there. One, two, three. All right, that's looking cozy. Okay. Okay. So I'm liking that better already. If I made it even wider, we can make this a little bit thicker. That might look kind of cute too. Liking that shape. All right, let's grab the uh, the cherry blossom trees here and see if we like how they look. Grab some slabs there. Grab a couple of stairs. A couple more than that. More of these slabs. It's a very red wood. Maybe that's good. I don't know. We'll find out. It's still pretty flat. Some nice contrast. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Thermos? Thank you very much for 32 months. Scope Creep Gamer. I don't like how it's connecting with the pillar. Not enjoying that. What am I supposed to do with this? 
I wanted a nice like round. Maybe the problem is it's not rounding where I want it to round. Maybe that's why it's looking weird because it's like flat and then it steps up. So what if I instead of that did... I prefer that, but then if I do that, the roof is going to show up behind it. Okay, so I'll need slabs. How do I like the underground? It's been interesting. It's been a lot of exploring. Stalagmites, caves. Oh my. Can I just do slabby bits with this? Mmm, turns into the brick. That's not good. That's not good. So the problem there is if I want this roof shape, I can't use that marble texture because then the slabs are going to poke out there. Maybe it's fine if there's redwood showing there? I don't know. I don't know. What does that look like? Why not use full blocks? Because I want a gentler rounding. And if I use a full marble behind it, um, then if you look at it from above, marble will peek out. So like... So from this side... Right? You're like, ah, from the front a full block looks great, but if you look above it, you're like, oh, the roof is showing. So, it doesn't work. Does not work if we want to use the slab thing there. This is a tricky palette I've given myself. A tricky palette and a tricky shape. <sighs> hey, Carcinogenics, thank you for that resub. Welcome back. Someone with a coffee allergy feel like I know too much about it after watching Coffee with Surge. <laughs> ah, I have an idea. Alright, we just have to make it larger. Which is always a good start. Actually, let's leave that for now. Actually, no, it's fine. We can leave that there, too. Depth. Depth. What if I simply made it larger? Still don't know how the roof is going to fit in with all of this, but I like making things bigger. Um, I think this is probably also supposed to be birch. Wait, hold on. New, new, new idea. Let's make it even bigger.
one will work. Yeah. I'll learn how this axe thing works sooner or later. This color palette feels like I wanted to build a postmodern house, but I also wanted people to know I live in Arizona. It did definitely feel... It reminded me of, like, some of the architecture I saw in San Antonio as well. Specifically the color palette. I definitely feel that. This is bordering on mausoleum. Maybe. Uh, we'll probably have to do some pretty intense terraforming. Um, hmm. What the, what, what is going wrong here? Oh, I see. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Goodbye, water feature. I can always rebuild you later. Okay. This got so much bigger. <laughs> well, well, this certainly escalated quickly. All right. So let's try roof again. Let's try. Let's try make roof happen again. Stop trying to make roof happen. So if I put it into here now kind of cool doesn't cover that though is that a problem what if I just do this is that cute it's kind of cute Kind of cute. Good start. Good start. I'll try it on both sides. Okay. So how did <laughs> how did I do that? Uh, <laughs> I think I started here. Looking nice, thank you. A yeet. All right, so I went like in one and then up or in, yes, in one and then immediately up. And then I did like this, right? And it looked like that, and then it goes around the corner. Yes! Yes! Okay, and then I do another roof on top of that one. 
and then try and keep that same style going. So uh, that wants to go out one. I think that looks good. And then we do like that. Let's go a little bit longer before it goes up. I require additional slabs. I like that I was like, I need stacks of everything. I'm like, oh, I'm almost done. Neat. Uh, so I connected like that, is that correct? I think the answer is yes. Oh, once again. You know what? No, it's fine. I'll just do a solid block there. All right. How do you look from the front? I think this needs to be a little bit more open. But I like the depth. I like the depth a lot, actually. I think that looks kind of cute as heck. No, you know what? No, I fixed it. I just needed to put that block in. Then we fixed it. Uh, what do you like? Do you like better the overhang, or do you like it better when it's connected? I think I like the, uh, I think I like the overhang better, personally, but let me know. Let me know! All right, obviously we need to add some detailing. Uh, we need to put like some window sills in and stuff like that and a door. A little bit more detailing. I don't know if we want to do the leave that as a pond or not. All right, so another thing we can do to give this a little bit more depth is actually add a walkway in. Why is, hold on, why when I click on this is it not doing anything? Ah? It's odd. I don't know why I can't click on these. Try and get a bit more depth, bring that forward. I love that. I think that looks really cute. All right, uh, let's figure out some window sills. And I don't know if I want them to be birch or if I want them to be red woody. So let's give this a try. Um, that's a door. Well, that door is actually really cute though. All right, there's like 10 of those. And do we have the, them for this? Oh, we do. All right, let's... Let's try both. So we're going to do some window sills on the left side and the right side. I'd love your opinion as to which we prefer. they're slightly transparent so I think I like oops oh I like that oh I like that a lot what if I use both hold on where did that other one go hello there you are welcome back 
Like, what if I did both? Oh, that looks so cute. Oh, that looks so cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A couple people in chat are definitely down for that. Uh, did I have the thingy facing up? I did. Great. All right, so that's looking nice. So this is still a little bit plain. And I think the way we need to fix that is maybe just like a little bit of an awning here. Too much. Um, also need. The, where did all these seeds come from? Hold on one second. Very important step. Constantly clear inventory and modded. Ugh. Just clutter everywhere. Still not quite. Maybe, maybe if I used birch? If I used birch there, that'd be okay. I need to make another crafting bench is what I need to do. So I don't need to walk in here every time. All right, let's, uh, let's do ourselves a solid. Drop that down here. So I need to put something here. I think we all agree. So the birch trapdoors we're already using as the window frames, though. So I think it might look a little bit weird if we suddenly had it doing double duty. Oh, I'll use a campfire. Hey, what's up, the man, Drew? Thank you very much for that prime in five months. To celebrate receiving my second shot, have these Bezos bucks. I'm just like, this is so funny. Just the idea of, um, of vaccine FOMO, because I'm definitely feeling that. All right, how to make a campfire. Campfires are coal, sticks, and logs. Okay. Uh, I should have everything on me. You got your first shot yesterday? Very nice. No, 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 no. Don't, don't feel bad. Please don't feel bad if you've gotten your vaccine. That's amazing and congratulations. I'm just like, well, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get there. That's okay, too. All right, let's try. I love campfires. Let's just see if it fits our color palette. Oh, they're out by default. That's interesting. Uh, let's also try rotating these. Oh, what? Why'd they get smashed? Oh. Is that a vanilla thing? Hold on. Or is that a modded thing? Can you not pick up campfires in vanilla? And I've just always had silk touch and I never noticed. Oofa and or doofa. That stings a little. Silk touch, eh?
Hmm. I guess I've only ever done this when I already had access to Silk Touch, so... Oh, and it looks so busy and it's so expensive. It kind of works. I'd almost want oak if I wanted that to work. It's better. Maybe there's weird, like, slabs I could do with marble because it's modded. I want to get into chisel and bits already. Uh, so that's a marble wall. Can't do that. That's a marble wall. I could try that. What is this? What is a speleothum? Speleothum. Marble pillar? Try a marble pillar. Ha! Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so bougie. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to get distracted for a second here. What does your door look like? Oh, that's a cute door. I think it needs to be more pronounced. And to make it more pronounced, we're struggling here, right? This is the kind of home you'd expect to find a butler carrying a pyramid of Ferrero Rocher. God, I wish I could live in that home. Yo, if I was rich enough to just constantly have somebody hand feeding me Ferrero Rochers, I'll have known I'd made it. Be like, yeah. Maybe cherry fencing? So the problem isn't necessarily the color, the problem is the shape. I definitely, desperately am not getting into chisel and bits on my first day. That, like, just, just in case everyone's curious, we're not chisel and bidding our own pillar, but that might be what we need. <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, we have marble walls that we could try. Hey, what's up, Pixel Art Dragon? Thank you so much for 13 months. Let's try one last thing. Let's try some wall. Because you can't make fences, but you can make walls. What do you mean? What what are these if not marble bricks? Hold on, time out. What? Marble brick wall. Marble brick. Oh. Quark marble. I can't Oh. I don't have quark marble because I have astral sorcery marble. Ah. Mmm. Buckets. Okay, so none of these recipes do anything for me because I don't have access. Surge, please. What? Hey, Mistborn, thank you for that prime in 15 months. Use the stone cutter. How do I make a stone cutter? Smooth stone? Then I have to smelt stone? Blech. Oh yeah, there was one in the village. Ah, it's fine. It's a vanilla item, your favorite? Kind of, not really. I sometimes use the stone cutter, but I'd like, don't worry about it too much. Wow. 
What is this mod pack? People are answering in chat. You had like three people hit a command right after you asked. With the answer right there. All right, I'm using a stone cutter, which was magically supposed to solve all of my issues. Yet, still can't make the walls. What was what was the outcome you expect? What was <laughs> how was uh what what is supposed to be different here, chat? I got I got very much told to do this, but nothing has changed. I mean, if it's for efficiency recipes, I don't care. Because we got like a ton of it, right? All right, I'll go back to doing what I was doing before. <laughs> Wait, speaking of doing what I was doing before, what if, what if this was all I needed? No, it doesn't quite work. All right, let's sleep again. You know what? The outside's looking fine. I think I think we're um is this what the kids call gilding the lily? Is the <laughs> <laughs> Hang lanterns? They'd have to make lanterns and they're expensive. All right. Uh let's grab a tremendous amount of marble and then let's just build this straight into the wall. Yeah, this is fine. Is this fine? Ah, this is fine. I'm gonna have to move my bed and all my chests, but ultimately I think this will be worth. Got a little bit of a lake that we'll have to drain, but that's that's fine. Who hasn't had to drain a lake once in their in their time, right? All right, so we got our shape in nicely there. Uh, let's go a little bit further with that. Okay, good. All right, now we want a bajillion slabs. Luckily for us, look how easy it is to get in our base now. All right, that should be enough slabs to finish this roof. All right, good. Uh, yeah, let's keep going with that depth there. I like that. Yeah, it's kind of got a hobbit hole vibe, doesn't it? I don't know. It, it like started off as a hobbit hole and then it kind of also turned into, what is it, like a hacienda or something like that? Next version, you should be able to convert back and forth. It's interesting, actually, uh, Serafina, because when we were down in the mines, when we were down in the hole, we assumed that you had deliberately only had one type of marble, uh, just to avoid confusion, because we didn't find any um, any cork marble. You could only mine um, astral marble. And we're like, oh, that's clever. 
Maybe this is a quality of life thing, so there's only one set of recipes. I have learned. Maybe that was different. What's up, Suffix? How you doing, friend? Alright, and then we do this. Alright, now let's just fill in the sides. Okay, it's looking cute. It's looking cute. Um, I need a little bit of dirt here, just so we just pretend that this isn't a giant, just like a hole. Let's, uh, let's fill that in too. There we go. See, look at this. Actually, if I do that, it'll look a little bit cuter. We got ourselves a starter base, chat! Don't love the entrance, but, you know, everything... <laughs> I like that you just look in and there's a cave. There's just a cave, and you're like, wait, what's what's happening in that house? Shh. Uh, all right, uh, now to make to make our whole uh, home. So at some point we need to transition from quartz to something else. And I don't know when that is. I don't know if the inside, I mean, we can make a tunnel. We don't actually have to use that at all, right? Like this could just be, this could just be facade, right? I wonder if I can go back. Can I unbrick this? No, I sure can't. Okay, well, this is brick forever now. That's fine. If we get into astral, we'll need that later. Drop off these seeds. God, they're everywhere. Should we get into storage drawers? Like, right now, chat? Should we make the ultimate storage system like five hours? Wait, what time is it? Three hours <laughs> into our new playthrough? Just be like, you know what? Yeah, let's just let's just solve storage right now. All right, so here's my plan. Wait, hold on. How do I make a painting? First step is to learn how to spell it. Canvas stick. Wool. Pardon me. Pardon me. I have some sheep to go murder. It's important. This is for art. Oh, hey, look, our birch grew. This is for art. Wait, hold on. Before we leave, I... Sh Ooh, that's a good murder hole. Um, look, it's us. Why, why does our roof not look red? How do I add a marker? Add a waypoint. Home! Doesn't show on the map. Sheep. Let's go. Have we investigated the space needles yet? No, they look scary and I don't want to fall. We'll leave that. I guarantee you. All right, so on Tuesday, 9 o'clock is going to start this mod pack as well. And who better, who better than James I Must Always Fall Turner to climb that tower and fall to his death? Am I right? Why deprive James of that experience? Yes, this is also going to be the, uh, the 9 o'clock server. And after today... Just because I wanted to uh, not also test load issues. 
<laughs> and have first crack on a cute base location. Um, after today, I'm going to be opening up this server to all of the chat moderators. So they're also going to join us. And then we're going to have some bases to explore and some friends to visit and all kinds of neat stuff. Wait, Suffix, you didn't know? We've been talking about this in the mod channels for months, Suffix. For months? What do you mean, oh, really, in all caps? What did you think I asked your Minecraft for? Minecraft name for. How much of the map is explored? So unlike in Valheim, in Minecraft, the map is infinite. It just goes forever. All right. Um, let's get some... Eep. Let's get some art here. Art. Art. What idiot left a hole here? What? What absolute melon? <laughs> per. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, it's a little weird. I think it needs a light source. Oh. All right, let's uh let's make one more of these and then then we will briefly transition to lunch. There we go. That's some art. See? I wonder if it should be one closer. Oh. <laughs> nice nice view we have there. Let's try moving it one closer. Is that better or worse? Does it kind of make the house look like it's alive or is that just really busy? Painting does kind of need a light, you're right. Wait, I think I can do this. Now that the painting's down. No. How do you need, um, like, um, a sign? Maybe that's how you have to do that trick. Spider house. So we have the left side, which has a light and art behind it, and the right side is one deeper. You know what? I kind of, I kind of like the extra depth. If I'm honest, ah, uh, maybe I like the variety. Hey, what's up, Joe Kim? Good to see you, bud. 
I think it looks cute, actually. Yeah, let's do it on both sides. Oh, we're changing it up. Alright, so I need one more sign. Wait, how do I get out? Right, like this. Art! Uh... Art! Mmm, too dark. Art? Yes! Oh my goodness, I love it. It's a portrait of Cheeseburger. Our number one slime. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's cute. That's cute. It's a cute starting house. All right, and we'll uh, we'll make this look better after lunch. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I think I'm fine closing that off. And then that'll be the entrance into our base, and then we'll, like, transition into something else that'll be really cool. Um, but speaking of transitions, let's transition into... Lunch! We're going to take a very short lunch break here. And by short lunch break, I mean, like, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to turn on music and have lunch and then sort of chill out for a couple of minutes here. So what do you think so far, friends? Are you excited? That song's too upbeat. Are you excited for where we're going with this mod pack so far? I think our base is very cute. Today's lunch is homemade chicken quesadillas. We got a very nice, very fancy chicken dinner from a local butcher shop. We turn the leftovers into quesadilla. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, let's pause Minecraft. When did I get this Hedron Crab? Desert Bus 7. That is a old school featherweight original. Hmm. So what's our lunch topic today, friends? What should we chat about? You can do like Iskal and do a server where your tiers can join. So we have public servers, Luna. In the Discord, uh, we've traditionally hosted a lot of servers. For the previous mod pack, for vanilla, we like always have them up, which is great. We do server tours. Um, that being said, for this mod pack, there's no plan to do community servers. On account of Tex, who's our wonderful community server host, is going to be moving in an indeterminate amount of time. And since we don't have a timeline on that, we don't know when they'd be up. We don't know how long the downtime is. And because there's so much, so many unknowns and so much overhead in planning all that stuff, we're just like, it'll be too disruptive. So we're just unfortunately not offering to have a community server for this particular mod pack. But you best believe that when uh, 1.17 drops, that we'll be jumping back into all that stuff. What do I think of the mod pack so far? Uh, mods are always intimidating to me because the community is a lot more knowledgeable than I am, and it just offers so, so, so much. So I'm having fun. I'm very excited to dive into this. I'm super optimistic that I'm going to have a good time. I have a very big plan for, like, what our main build is going to be, and I'm looking forward to, like, very slowly unpacking what this has to offer for the next two to three months. I mean, the interesting thing with modded is, well, pardon me, with this pack in particular, is it feels like you've taken away a lot of the things that I normally lean on. Uh, the fact that there's no uh, tinkers, for example, means I have to completely reevaluate how I start. Every mod pack I've ever played has had tinkers in it, so that's always been my early progression for ore doubling and for tools. So it's neat. Aaron Blademaster says, if there's interest in a community server for this mod pack, please ping me in Discord. 
there's interest, I'll see what I can do. Oh, Heron Blade Master, I guarantee you there's interest. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Have I heard of the Vault Hunters mod pack? Oh, I'm an Iskel fan. I'm very familiar. Yep. Do I know Iskel85? We talk about the Hermits a lot. We have a dedicated Hermitcraft channel because so many people in this community love watching the Hermits that we just do that. Yeah, like 30 people are going to slide in your DMs, Heron Blade Master. <laughs> yeah, my introduction to Hermitcraft came about from when I started learning how to play Minecraft, which was, I think, like three years ago now? What even is time? I was looking up a lot of early tutorials for, like, early farms and stuff like that, and kept noticing this name Mumbo Jumbo showing up for redstone tutorials. And then one day I was like, ah, maybe I'll check out, um, maybe I'll check out this Let's Play, what's this Hermitcraft sort of thing. And that was season five of Hermitcraft. And so Joe and I watched all of season, season five of Mumbo, and then it was neat. Can we get a little bit more mic on this scene? It's still lower than game view. It, that can't be possible. It can't possibly be lower than game view. I fixed that. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. All right. Real talk chat. Let's get rid of the music. So, hi. This is, this is a, le a level test. I'm talking normally. This is what I sound like. Now, I'm going to go to this scene. And this is a mic tech. I'm talking normally. Mic check. I'm talking normally. This is all fine. Is it because I wasn't talking into the microphone? You did not fix it. What? It's low in comparison. Eyes closed, I heard no difference. Sounds almost exactly the same. Okay. Because previously, I had duplicate mic inputs. You can see my mic input here. I had another one at the top. So you're hearing double me. The music was just too loud. Now, the music being too loud is something I can control by turning down the slider. The game view is louder? What? Zero difference between scenes for me. So I'm also talking into the microphone and I turn the music off. So. <laughs> All right. There was 100% an issue like three streams ago. Maybe you talk louder in game. Well, I'm also backing off the microphone so you don't listen to me chewing. So I can just twist a bunch of dials and move some knobs or something. Like I could pretend <laughs> like I could pretend I'm doing stuff to change it. Oh, man, I should have done the James thing. That's right. Hey, there we go, chat. Is that any better? Like, oh yeah, that's way better. It's like, I didn't touch anything. You're full of lies. <laughs> Vez, you almost made me die. No one wants to hear it at you. How dare you? What's my, I uh, use a GoXLR Mini for audio mixing, Lady McCall. <clears throat> Currently choking on quesadilla. Give me a second here. What's social media eating? Wait, social media culture called again? Or just eating stuff? That's mukbang. Mukbang. <clears throat> Go XLR Mini, yeah. Uh, there's um, a description of most of my hardware. Under, there's an about section on my Twitch page. You'll find stuff there. Other things we've done. We raised the monitor up and we changed the camera angle. Because I found I was slouching a lot. I was like hunched over and speaking into the microphone like a witch in Hamlet.
or Witch and Macbeth, you know, you t take your pick. <laughs> Look, if there weren't any witches in Hamlet, maybe they were just off scene doing witch stuff, okay? <laughs> Look, I'm not your dad. Read a book. <laughs> or a play. <laughs> Need to work on your sound quality? So a mixing board won't make you sound better. You'll need a better microphone. Uh, what it will do is help you adjust your levels. I mean, you can do the exact same stuff through the like inbuilt Windows stuff. You just have to use your mouse. The soundboard's just really nice for on the fly changes. Soundboard will also help you make a hardware level equalization if necessary. Yeah, one of the cool things that I got to do the other day is learn how to do audio ducking. So audio ducking is a magical beat of piece of technology where when I speak, it automatically brings down the audio level of everything else so you could hear me. But when I'm not speaking, the, the music is louder so it doesn't break that immersion. Ooh. Is my voice a higher pitch than normal? I did almost choke to death like 30 seconds ago. Could be an after effect of that. Look, Jess, numbers are an illusion. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, pardon me for one second. I'm going to wash my hands and then more Minecraft. So don't go anywhere. Be right back. I return. Bye. What? Yo, Vez, what up, dude? 10 gift subs? Holy moly. It's really, really generous. Thank you, friend. Welcome to Naz T Man, Glant Man, Zed Blust. The Great Sacrificer, Bert ZZ, Pinwiz, Amber Lamplight, Armored Scarves, Mastermind 1429, and Traco ZG. Thank you so much, friend. All right, wait, that's the wrong scene. We hit the Minecraft scene. There we go.
to make up for almost unaliving me. Ah, uh, it's thoughtful. I did almost die. Hello? Ah, there we go. You just have to say hello to make Minecraft load. Classic trick. Wait, can I get out of where I put my bed? Oh yeah, I just run across the top here. Okay. Uh, so, we need to make base happen. Oh, my inventory is such a nightmare mess. Uh, let's go ahead and put a bunch of stuff away. I'm thinking I want to get some oak, and I'm going to put oak in the floor, and it's going to look fantastic. You'll see once I once we get there. Uh, let's go and put this stuff away. This goes back in here. I can start cooking this lamb, or mutton, or whatever it calls itself. All right. I want oak, so let's go get some oak. Minecraft scene is way louder than the lunch scene, I agree with Arclight, but did I, once again, is it because I'm simply talking closer to my microphone? Birch, cherry, Bamboo. Interesting blend of like bamboo, birch, and cherry has a... Hello? What are you? Are you a Pikmin? Huh. Leave that sprout alone. I'm not going to hurt it. I mean, I'm just very curious as to what it was. Aha, oak. Perfect. <clears throat> Gotta say, this like chop down the bottom of a tree thing. Wait, hold on. This tree's floating. Did I install Pixelmon by mistake? I... Like, maybe it's in here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maple. No. Not hungry. Stay. it. Yeah, the tree chopping thing's kind of cool, eh? Alright, let's see how well this tree chopping works on the big tall tree. Oh, perfectly. Yes. Let's keep going here. Someone who just finished all the content in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. That's definitely a Pikmin. That's what I thought. What I thought as well. Do I live in here now? No. Yeah, this is a way faster way to chop down trees. This is lovely. Look, we just spent, you know, weeks in our Valheim playthrough, where chopping trees was a very real hazard. Kind of refreshing to just be like, oh, this is nice. The trees aren't trying to murder me. Good. What do we have here? Wait, did I accidentally maple? What is an elder log? Hold on, time out. No Grey Dwarves either. Remember to fear the Grey Dwarves. 
If you don't know what fear is, invent fear so that you may fear the Grey Dwarves. Mm, lack of interns, you're right. This was Valheim. I'd have a troll helping me chop down these trees. Excellent point. What do we have? Just under two stacks? I don't think it's going to be enough. Let's go to at least two stacks. These two big trees and we'll call it done. So I'm trying to see in my mind, I don't know if this will work or not. I'm, I'm trying to see if I could do a three wood pattern for the flooring inside of the base. And I have birch and we have the redwood. And my hope is that oak, what is happening here? My hope is that oak will actually work as like a really nice palette balancer what's the what's the word is there an official like art word to describe that when i think there's too high of contrast between two colors so i'm trying to add a third color to maybe it's like a transition color or something like that so yeah that's what that's what the oak is for palancer ah yes palancer the palette balancer love it Maybe it's a blending color. What's up, panda friends? Look how cozy you are. Yeah, look at them go. I'm going to assume that all of you are art experts and every answer in chat right now is correct. All right. Um... Let's mine some stuff out here. <clears throat> Is that one turtle stuck? Oh, no. Tur turtle, pardon me. Is that one panda stuck like a turtle? It's impossible. Pandas are like cats. They always land on their feet. Okay. So, this is an okay start to our room shape. Um... To do yeah that's good okay good so this will be the floor shape for now let's see if this works wait a local paint store had a specific off-white color they tried to sell the tech startups called scope creep that's hilarious and i love it oh hey look more water no So the roof is a little low here, so we could either put the floor at this height, or we could do a step down. I like the idea of a step down. Let's do a step down first. Make this area larger. Where's all my, where's, hold on, where's all my marble? Oh, uh-oh. Maybe three stacks wasn't enough. Uh, wait, maybe I'll use this marble brick just for some contrast. And not at all because I'm out of marble and it's just convenient to have lying around. Perfect. My shovel broke.
All right, here's hoping this isn't way too busy. So my plan is to take birch. I don't even know if there's a stripped log texture for this. Then oak. Let's just test this really quickly. That was the wrong button. Oh, there is. Oh, it's so rich. Oh, I like that better. So if that's the case... Right? I think. Okay, okay. It's loud, but I kind of like it. We're going to do some tool naming? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Maybe once we get a little bit further into the game and we actually have, like, things worth naming. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of fun. All right. I need to make this larger. I need to make this larger. We need to come up with an actual proper area for, like, a bedroom. Uh, we need more diamonds. We're out of everything. Our storage chest is j a joke. Uh, so I think what we need to do, I think we actually have to need, need to go for another mining session. Is what needs to happen. We're going to make ourselves another diamond pick here. Grab some more sticks. And uh, try and grab ourselves a bunch of marble, a bunch of other stuff. How are we doing? 48. Nothing says early game Minecraft like just living in the mines, like everything being scarce. But I think this is an excellent start. I think we've got ourselves a very cozy... Oh. My bed is too far away? How dare you? There we go. <clears throat> um, actually, maybe there's one last thing we should do. Like, move my bed down. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's set that. And then... 
Let's grab a little bit of dirt. <clears throat> and let's just seal this from the outside. So I realized that we can kind of peek through our hill in a couple of places, which is not great. Yeah, like here, right? There we go. Mm hmm. Perfect. That's looking cute. I think it uh, it transitions into the hill a little bit better now too. You know what? The more I look at it. The more this is kind of warming up on me. But into the mines. Our goals. Get marble rich. Get diamond richer. <clears throat> Get in the hole, Jaeger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're mining. So I can't go too, too late today, as later today, getting my hair touched up, as you can see we're getting quite shaggy. The current state of the world definitely reduced how often we go out for anything and really looking forward to a little bit of grooming, that's for sure. Get diamond rich or marble trying, yeah. So we're probably going to wrap up in a little over an hour. And that's okay. I'm actually really happy with how much we've already gotten done today. Hello, weird little glowy bits? Sure, why not? Oh, ah, wrong blue. So many wrong blues. <clears throat> a little disappointed, but here we are. You know what? I think I've got enough iron for... No, no that's that's... Wrong. You can never have enough iron. Till you have an iron farm and you're literally printing iron blocks. What am I doing? Not taking iron. Oh, I caught myself there. Don't worry about it. Cave music. How pretty. Nico Spud. Oh my goodness, friends. We have another Butterbean. We have another one year to celebrate in this community. Get some hearts. My favorite Canadian named Serge Jaeger. That's oddly specific, but you know what? I'll take it. Many blessings. We have all the fun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I haven't just listened to the vanilla music in ages. Banger alert. So hilariously, when a siren goes by outside, I imagine it does audio ducking so you can really hear that siren, eh? Yeah, out of all of the Canadian streamers named Serge Jaeger, you're in at least in my top... Hey! Diamond's in my top five. That ain't bad. So normally in the early game when I'm doing diamond hunting, I want to make sure that 
I at least make more diamonds than the pickaxe I invested in to get there, right? So like a pickaxe costs me three diamonds. So if I don't come out with at least three diamonds, then I get a little bit bummed. All right, that's far enough in this direction. Let's head this way. <clears throat> oh, hello. All the people who stream on this channel, you'd at least be my second favorite. Wow, I ranked ahead of chair. It's been a while. It's flattering. Oh, right. Yeah, you can... Yeah, third. Does chair count as people? No, chair is absolute sovereign. They're, they've transcended people. Chair is technically not people. Didn't mean for that to happen. Wow, I just broke a diamond pickaxe. That, uh... That hasn't happened in a while. Huh. Feels bad. <laughs> Aha, it was James all along. Pulls off mask. Nope. Nope. I have to own that mistake. That was uh, that was 100% me. Version of Minecraft this is? This is 1.16.5 mod pack. Bleeding edge. Or is it just 1.16? Whatever. 1.16 point welcome to the future. So we were talking about this earlier, my close personal friend, John, about when do you make the switch into enchanting? And typically when I play modded, the answer is never. Um, because like the tier of everything you have is so much better. But without tinkers in this mod pack, I think we might actually get ourselves a enchanting library like next stream. And by enchanting library, I mean get a bunch of librarians and then have them give us books. People keep asking if it has Tetra. I don't know what that means. I mean, I imagine it's a mod, but like I've never played with Tetra. Tetra's the new Tinkers? Okay, sorry, one sec. Get a toolsmith in case more tools break? What if I just simply didn't break any more tools? Hmm? Oh, that's lava. Hello! Wow, that's sass plan. How did I not see that prior to now? That's good. Uh, I don't know what you are, so you can go live in the lava. 
Ugh, there's so many things in my inventory. Alright, that's a lot of lava. I think that's a good sign to turn, change directions. I got an early voiding backpack? Yeah, Doc, there's... Every block of lava is a voiding backpack. Also, I don't always want to get rid of things. Typically just depends on my mood what I throw away. I haven't found a single block of diorite all game. We don't even need to worry about getting rid of it if it doesn't exist. Sorry, suffix. Looks like diorite... Actually, looks like diorite and granite have both been removed. Have you seen granite yet, chat? Looks like it's been replaced by marble and limestone. Why would I check if it exists? No, I'll just go with my pure blind speculation. How much did I have to pay her? Oh, it was worth every penny. Well, that's bad. Can I break it before it haunts me and kills me? Survey says, yes. I win! Have a good one, Anklag. Hello, bat friend. <clears throat> Have a good one here in Blade Master. One, two, three. We also haven't found any spawners. I mentioned that because I just heard the spider hiss. I heard two spiders hiss. I think there's a uh, spider spawner nearby. I think it's above me. I still don't have armor. This way? This way. Above me? It's 
definitely to the left now. Must be above. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! What? Ah! What? That's vanilla? Invisible spiders are vanilla? Hold on, somebody said that's a modded thing. I'm... What? There's definitely more spiders here. On hard, spiders can spawn with potion effects. Really? I have never seen that before. I have never ever seen that before. Huh. I bet you there's a spawner here, chat. Oh. Wait, hold on. What the? Because we heard at least one more spider, right? It can't be. Maybe there's just a small cave? Because it's too small to be a spawner now, right? Okay, it's not a spawner. Let's just give up on it and go back for hunting diamonds. That's too bad. I was hoping we'd get a dungeon. I do always like me an early... an early spawner for experience. <clears throat> I would expect to hear slightly more spiders if there was a spawn or two. What the? I guess... I guess there was a cave-in. Oh, I'm also supposed to be looking for, like, way more marble. Not doing the greatest job of selectively hunting for resources. Oh, well. Why can't I jump? Oh, look at you! All fancied up. Right, I still don't have armor. 
I wonder how many times I'm going to say that before I actually do anything about it. Spiders can spawn with the following effects. Speed, 40%. Strength, 20%. Regeneration, 20%. And invisibility, 20%. I had no idea. Hmm. Yeah, I have probably easily thousands of hours in Minecraft, and it's amazing that even now I'll learn new things. So what's the probability that a spider spawns with a status effect, though? Because that is the distribution of effects if it has one. But like, what percentage of spider mobs spawns with those effects in hard? Well, that's uh that's an interesting Can I immediately pick something else up? Server says yes. The longer you spend in a chunk, the higher the percentage will be. Really? Huh. Hey, what's up, fish sore? You're having a good day, bud? Soon there'll be Vine Minecraft VR? There already is Minecraft VR. 100% is Minecraft VR. On hard difficulty, spiders occasionally spawn with status effects. For each pack spawn, there is a 10 times clamped region difficulty percentage. What? Alright, I'm sure that number makes a lot of sense to somebody who's a lot smarter than I am, but I have no idea what that mathematical equation means. Yeah, like Mumbo Jumbo released a video like a month ago of him exploring his... Um, Hermitcraft 7 build in VR. Yeah, now if only VR gear was more affordable. It's a completely other conversation. My issue is, even if I did get my hands on VR gear, is my place is too small. And I wonder if that's similar to a lot of other people, right? Is the space requirement so that you don't accidentally break your hand punching a wall as you flail about. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. Ooh, more marble though. Oh wait, no, 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 we knew where we were going. I came out somewhere around here. Yeah, I went up this way. Right, I went up there. Got it. Wait a second, what's this? What's this? Chat? Chat? Loot? Tattered Tome? The Botanica books? We got a banger. Oh my god, C14? An iron shovel? Heck yeah! Uh, okay. Alright, I don't know if I need any of this stuff, so let's just throw it all away.
Uh, smithing table is also kind of cool. So let's grab that as well. Wait, I... There's literally a spot. Uh, what the... What? The what? Okay, there was literally a spot in my inventory. Wait, I don't need two copies of the tattered tome. Ah, uh, maybe I do. All right, let's head home, which is this way. Grab this iron first. I should really make a staircase. I have enough wood on me. No. All right. I was going to say, if I can make a crafting bench. Alright, three stacks? That's respectable. Alright, uh, I guess we have a book. What are you? What are you? Right click to study. Wait. Hold. Click to study. Plus 123 experience, plus three knowledge points. What? Many pages of this tome were destroyed or rendered ineligible by merciless flow of time, but it may still contain useful pieces of ancient studies and lore. Oh. Experience and knowledge points. I have no idea what, what this is for. Um, enigmatic legacy. All right. I'll put this in a box for when Joe gets here. Okay, we have some crates as well. So those can go in there. We have the Lexica... Le, 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 we got the Batania book. And I don't think I'm going to be doing any Batania yeah, anytime soon. Let's put that away as well. Okay, we need to... We need to seriously... Let's just start digging a hole. That's my, that's my, that's my thing. We just need to dig a big hole. We're going to make a big, large hole here. Uh, and probably do that for the rest of the today, the rest of today's show. And then I guess tomorrow when we're back with more of this, we'll get into enchanting. We'll upgrade our tools and we'll probably figure out which mod, uh, that we want to hop into first. I think I want a little bit of this on me. So I think if I go like that, that'll look cute. Like that. I need to figure out the transition of where we want. Build design 1 to stop and build design 2 to begin. I have a mod to pull enchantments off your tools. No idea! This is a giant mod pack. It has a bajillion things in it. I didn't even, I didn't even study it. I'm just playing. No, see, James digs holes straight down. The fact that I'm going lateral means that this is a new IP. And in fact, I'd appreciate it if people didn't rip off my idea here. This whole digging thing's really going to take off. Wait, more cave? Hey, look who doesn't have to dig nearly as far. Oh man, I'm so good at this game. Dang. Easy game. Yeah, I have no idea what's in this mod pack. And I think even if I read it, I wouldn't really know either because my experience, like my knowledge base of 
thought it isn't that big either. So it's just a happy little mystery. We'll encounter something weird in the world. Maybe that'll encourage us to like explore mod pack for a little bit. I don't know. The thing about modded is there's no, this is my opinion, uh, there's no right or wrong way to approach it. And oftentimes there are multiple ways to solve a problem. If you're looking at it, for example, there is what, four different options for ore doubling? So we're just going to kind of take our time, see what catches our eye, what doesn't catch our eye. We will absolutely not be able to touch on everything in this mod pack through our playthrough. That's okay too. Yeah, poke a thing, get bit, never do it again. You got it, our client. It's already got marble in it. Yeah, almost seems like a shame to pull that marble up. So we want to make sure we have lots of room for activities here. So we want to very quickly open this up, right? We want to open it up. Um, I think I'm going to do the same storage pit drawer thing that we did in, what was that? Surgecraft 2? I think as far as storage drawers go, that was like a really good like use of space and easily accessible storage drawer room. So what we're going to do is after we have a rough shape for this room, so we're going to make a big pit in the center of it and we'll dig like we'll dig down into that and that'll be where we put all of our storage drawers. Pardon me. So as we're just chilling and jill chilling and digging, what's up, friends? What's up? What's new? What's happening with all of y'all? That was a neat noise. Was that the game or was that a car outside? That could have either been a spooky cave noise or the truck, <laughs> like the brakes on a large semi truck. I'm not sure. How do I prioritize things? Would I make iron armor now? Dig for diamonds? Maybe upgrade the diamond later? Yeah. It also depends on what I want to be doing. Okay, that was spooky truck noises. Fair enough. I don't know. I don't necessarily have a path I follow each time. It depends on resource availability. Um, I'm normally pretty conservative on diamond armor, diamond investment in the early game because they're so rare until you get the ability to multiply your diamonds. It's way more important to save them for tools. There's no tinkers in this, no. So I don't... Yeah, I don't typically put diamonds or like uh, make diamond gear until we've got enchanting done. That's not a hard and fast rule. I mean, I think if you're worried about dying a lot, it's absolutely worth it for you to invest in like an armor thing earlier. Look at this, we're starting to get some room for activities here. If you want to know what's in the mod pack, um, the mods just shared a link in the chat. This is a huge mod pack. I have no idea what's in it. So uh, give it a peek, give it a glance over. There's no mod list on the website? Really? Can't be right. I've been telling people to go there all day. Oh no, people are saying it's there. There's just another step or two first, that's fair. Ooh. 
Ooh, look at this. More sneaky marble. Don't mind if I do. This pack has eight pages of mods. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo. Fantastic. Been ranking armor lower and lower as early as most of my deaths are falling into lava. Yeah. Or like dying in a place that you can't recover your body. Yeah, like... Feather falling often seems to be more valuable. I mean, I guess if you want to figure out how to change the priority of your tools or your start in a Minecraft game is... What problem are you trying to solve? Right? And then plan accordingly. You're like, I keep dying to mobs. Probably not going to read eight pages. Oh yeah, me, ne me neither, man. I'm not, yeah, I'm not reading eight pages either. I'm just going to keep playing and explore and see what happens. Look, zinc ore is in the game. Cool. Alright, can I get out of here? Yes. Survey says yes. So an important question is, what color do we want our storage drawer to be? Probably birch? I think I like this lighter... That sort of lighter build theme we're picking here. Wait, do I have no more torches? I have an torch. Hmm. Where are we gonna put our um where are we gonna put our villagers? Because we want them to be in the house. I guess we're going to have a good time boating villagers over in the early game again. It should be exciting. <laughs> Who knows Lava Sponge made it? I love that Lava Sponge is a real mod that exists now from what happened and basically like a throwaway comment in a stream. So what do you think? Is this big enough? How big do we want our storage pit to be? How many drawers do we want? So each drawer is a 4x4, four because four, those are the ones that I like. So if I made a grid of 4x4 four four is 16, 16 9 by 4 is 64 items. So if I did 64, 64, 64, 64. If I did 64, 128, 256, 512. So if we made it, if we made the room four with like a three walk down and two pillars, four plus five plus four is 13. What do you think of a 13 by 13 pit centered on this? <clears throat> How big would that be? 13 by 13 pit centered on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And four deep. <clears throat> four deep. So the wood would go to here, and we'd have a staircase down, and then, bam, we're in the heart of our little storage room. And that's, it's going to be a fairly similar layout to what we had in um, Surgecraft 2. I think that's okay. It won't be quite as Dutch punk. I don't think we're going to go for all the windmills and stuff, but... I like that. Can we see an example drawer? Sure. We've never seen a storage drawer before.
What? Oh, you have to put chests in it? Oh my god. No. They are ex Who said these were cheap? You lied. Oh god, you lied. <clears throat> this is what a storage drawer looks like. They look like that. And then when you put things in them, they look like that. Hey, what's up, TQ? <laughs> See cherries? Is it just my Animal Crossing for Minecraft? Yo, I was growing turnips in Valheim the other day, and your uh, stonks emote was getting a lot of use. Hey, the Elrad. Thank you very much for gifting a sub over to TQ. Appreciate that, friend. Three months of sub as well. My goodness, that's generous. It's a quarter year. Well, it's a quarter of a, you know, American year. All right, uh, let's start digging down. So I want to go down four here. Let's, uh, let's get this pit figured out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. <clears throat> and now I need to go 13 blocks in this direction. One, two, three. One, two. I don't need torches. I have solved this problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hey, we nailed it. Good job, us. I need to make another pickaxe. Oh, fifteen diamonds, thank goodness. I was like, wait a second. I don't have any diamonds. But then it turns out I did, in fact, have diamonds and everything was good. You're right. Hold on. I have TNT. Why am I digging like a peasant? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Chat, you're so smart. Oh, my counting thing. I believe it was here. Remember, these are lossless now. Look, when Minecraft gives you TNT, you make TNT the lemonade. Oh, that doesn't quite scan. Oh, this is so much faster! Are you backseating me on the use of TNT? The way TNT works is you light it and it makes its own hole. Why would I make a hole for my TNT? Even if it's correct, I'm pretty sure I've got the technique down. You light the fuse and it explodes. Problem. GG. <laughs> but your explosion could be bigger. It's big and it's fine. 
I assure you it's working as intended. Tone explosion shame? Thank you. This is looking good so far. I've kind of lost the thread of where 13 by 13 was now. Just kind of blowing stuff up. Imagine being told you're using TNT wrong. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I think this was 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Excellent. Uh, I should make a block that marks center point. We'll use these weird glowy things. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. Let's just square this out now. I was planning on hollowing out an entire mountain from a base and just realized I have a gunpowder and a sugarcane farm. Why was I not going to use TNT? There you go. And also, thank you Minecraft for providing us with that TNT. That section, hashtag sponsored by that random chest we found. I don't know how many people saw my tweet, but I came across the existence, it's under development, the existence of a video game called Espresso Tycoon, which is very exciting. Yeah, Joe, Joe found it first and uh, was texting with TQ and she reminded me of the existence of it. So the downside is not out until like late 2022. So we're all going to get very excited about it and then kind of stop for a bit. Yeah. Can you imagine anything more laser focused at my interests? Specifically espresso and being a tycoon. It's like number one and two on my to-do list on any given day. All right, this is looking pretty good. Looks like we got our height right. So now I need a staircase in. And I think I want it inset by maybe two. What block should our stairs be? Maybe also birch? Is that too much birch? Nah. Actually, yeah. If all their chests are birch. Let's make the stairs oak. That's Elder Plank. Uh. 
All right, so that's looking like that. And now I need approximately a bajillion storage drawers. Bajillion storage drawers. So luckily I can make the chests out of any wood. Right? Hold on. What's the recipe for a birch drawer? Right, right, right. The chest can be any wood. And then the other ones. Okay, I think... Is there a modded thing where I can make chests directly out of logs? Yo! Sorry, I got really carried away there. That's really exciting. Alright, now I need a bunch of birch. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four by four. We can do this math. <laughs> so hold on. Four by four in one corner is 16. 16, 32. What is 32 times four? Is that 128? Your computer should have a calculator. I also have Twitch chat. 128, thank you. You know what? Your computer also has a calculator. Help me out. <laughs> Look, I'm already multitasking. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm streaming and playing the game. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Uh, so I have four already uh, in this drawer. What happens if I click on this? If I click on this, uh, that's 32, wait, shoot. Why? 32 times four, I'm just gonna click on it. Oh, no, that's actually just 32. Okay, I have 36. I need 128? This is a lot, this is a lot. Who said these were cheap? Who lied to me and said these were cheap? It's another 32. It's another 32. Okay, we have 64 plus 4. That's halfway there. I need more wood. One sec. I need water. Let's do just a little practice thing on what this is going to look like when it's done and pretty. Um, do I want... No, I want these inset. Oh, no. Oh, give them back, please. Build an ME system? No, thank you. I like how this looks. I don't like the storage systems. I, I like as the, the 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 hard drive ones. I find them very boring. One of the big things in Minecraft, one of the things that really resonates with me, maybe resonates is the wrong word, is I like to be able to see my storage. I like to be able to see my things. And the heart of so many bases, especially in vanilla Minecraft, is the storage room, right? Like, it's where you spend your time, it's norm and normally it's like this massive feature in vanilla, so you have to come up with a clever way to make it look good. And just having, like, every single possession you have in Minecraft is like, oh, it's in my computer terminal, is neat, and like, if that's what you want to do, power to you. I don't like it. I, I find it... I don't know, it takes away something I really enjoy about Minecraft. And it's neat, too, because like, 
later on you just like start dumping everything into it and you've got you know 30,000 pieces of zombie flesh because you forgot to turn your phone off or whatever I it just it's just too far removed from me I prefer to I prefer to make a storage room that's like the centerpiece of the heart of my base so this is roughly what I'm imagining this is gonna Yes, this is roughly what I'm imagining this is going to look like. Four by four. That's a lot of storage. It's a lot of storage. Do I have to make this room bigger? <laughs> I might have to actually. Because I'm just realizing if I want to round the corners at all. And I don't have enough room. So what if I make it one bigger in each direction? Been trying to play this mod, but Minecraft keeps crashing at world creation. Uh, try assigning it more RAM. Which is something you can do through Curse Forge. So if I add a corner like this, then suddenly our footprint isn't 13 by 13 anymore. It's 15 by 15, question mark? I think that's okay. And then it's less square. So the goal here would be we round it a little bit. And then so the next wall would be here. Oh, you know what else we should do? I'm just thinking, um, I'm going to alternate. I'm going to do a bunch of oak, and then we're going to do strips, just to make it a little bit more pleasing on the eye, instead of it all being one flat color. I'm going to grab oak, and we're going to do a pattern. We're going to do a half and half pattern. Uh, you can use... Um, so there's a comment in the chat being like, don't these all have to touch? The answer is yes, but you can use other blocks to connect them. Uh, I think those are called... It's like a one-by-one one drawer or something like that. There's, there's a block somewhere. Trim, thank you. It's like, a, it's like a magical hopper that makes them work. All right, uh, let's go get a bunch of oak. And we're going to make... Yes. We're going to make other things happen. Make this room look fantastic. I keep thinking this is an animal and it's just our little viewing platform for our home. Hello, random pig. I don't know if I want vertical stripes. Um, maybe we'll do like a grid pattern, but I definitely know I want half of my drawers to be a different color. Oh, there was also a panda. We didn't say hi to the panda though. We said hi to the pig. The panda got plenty of hellos already. I didn't want the pig to feel left out. Yo, what's up, Mr. Lecter? Thank you very much for gifting five subs to the community. That's very generous. Uh, welcome to the Menace One, L. Coggins, Verbs, GG, Craziest Owl, and Devil Monkey 2012. Courtesy of the state of tax returns. Yo, thank you very much. Everybody talking about getting their tax returns back makes me realize, like, oh man, I need to do my taxes. I need to do my taxes something fierce. I've got a bit more time in Canada compared to the Americans. 
Um, we have until, oh god, end of April, I hope? Any other Canadians want to help me out with a confirm or deny on that one? You're fine? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we have a bit more time. I already have my all my tax forms from everywhere that's relevant. It's just a matter of, like, getting my life together. I don't really want to spend an evening in all of my spreadsheets, but I might have to, you know what I mean? That's so weird to hear. In Australia, our tax time is July. Wow. Self-employed taxes. Self-employed taxes are an adventure. They're uh, certainly pretty interesting. <laughs> Adulting sucks, but I like roads. What a what a great take. Yeah, you know what? Yes. No, I will not be streaming my uh, my taxes, thank you very much. I tend to be pretty open and transparent about a lot of things, but like, the actual nitty gritty of like, here's how much these sponsored pay me, or, you know, that might be a little bit of oversharing. All right, so I want like, I'm gonna say four stacks of log right now. Yeah, definitely a lot on the tax forms that you wanna keep private as well. Uh, the only time I have ever been frauded, had nothing to do with streaming actually, was uh, I put a passport renewal application in the mail and that got stolen. So they had access to my everything, to my absolutely everything. Uh, but not like my financial stuff, just all my personal stuff. So they opened like a cell phone under my name. And this is really weird. They tried to sign up for like a, like a Zeller's credit card. Oh, we found another one of these friends. Hello. I love you. Hello, little sprout. I will protect you. Wait, now that I told you my identity was stolen, how do you know that I'm the real Surge? Oh no. Oh no, quick Surge, say something only Surge would say. I, mm. Joe, more coffee. Actually, you know, that's on the table, sweetie. It is two o'clock. <laughs> my love. <laughs> And thus, Snurge was born. Um, banger alert. So the wildest story I've ever heard from identity theft actually happened to my dad. And this was a story from, oh, like the 70s or 80s or whatever. So my dad flew to Nova Scotia, which if you don't know anything about Canada, that's the east coast of Canada. I don't know. It's, it's north of New York if you're from the States. Anyways, he was in Nova Scotia and handed out some business cards for, you know, business purposes. Because that silkworm make? That's weird. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're doing business stuff. And then ended up going back. Six months, eight months later, something weird like that. And was immediately encountered by somebody who's like, okay, well, it's time for you to pay off all your debts. And he's like, what, pardon? And somebody had gone around Nova Scotia basically just with my dad's business card. And based on that and a lot of charisma, 
would just go into businesses and be like, oh yeah, I'm, and then like give my dad's name. Drinks are on me today. Here's my business card. Put it on my tab. And just like, just went around and literally just with a business card racked up a tremendous amount of debt. Like not even a credit card. Just a business card and a smile. Like I said, this is the before times. 70s and 80s. Isn't that wild? Small towns. Uh, it's not that small, but yeah. You grew up in Nova Scotia. All right, you know, fair enough. One of my uh, best friends grew up in Nova Scotia as well. He did not enjoy it. The Maritimes have a reputation for trusting and vengeance. <laughs> what? That sounds like a sentence with a story behind it, Chris. Holy moly. My dad got arrested in the 80s because a guy with the same name looked up his address in the phone book and started using it. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. All right, let's talk about other weird crime stories. So here's a story that happened to me. This is a me story. And this would have been, oh, maybe like 2008 or something like that. So uh, this was back in the time when you could, you probably still shouldn't, but you could legally drive and talk on your cell phone at the same time. That'll put a rough date on this. So I'm about, I'm like, I've just left my apartment and Joe and I are driving into the city. And my dad's like, where are you right now? And I'm like, what? He's like, and like, are you in the car? I need you to pull over. Like, I, I don't understand. He's like, somebody in Calgary just got arrested with your license plates on the car. <laughs> like, hold on, time out. What? And what, what I didn't realize had happened is sometime when I wasn't paying attention, Somebody had stolen the license plate off my car and switched it with the license plate from a stolen vehicle. And then that car got pulled over and then they ran the plates and they got my name. And out of a weird circumstance, because uh, I, the car I was driving, I bought off my dad's, but I did a bad job of like changing the registration over. The police called my dad and then he had to call me so he could get everything all sorted out. It was, it was really quite something. Yeah. Never even noticed. You know, you never assume somebody, assume somebody's going to steal your license plate, right? Steal the plates off your car. Um, let's just change the subject for a second. Is that an owl? What am I looking at? Hello? Oh my God. It's an owl. Hello. Are you friendly? Will you give me a quest? Do you like apples? How about cherries? Hi! I don't have any candy or else I'd give you candy. Wait, maybe I have seeds? Do you like seeds? May I offer you an aubergine, an aubergine seed in these trying times? Oh, meat? No, I don't have meat on me. What is this tree? What is this? Cool. Apparently it's not a dungeon, unless I'm supposed to mine into it more, but I digress. All right, 
Uh, owl, that's exciting. Sunny blossom tree, cute. Something similar happened to me. They stole the back plate off my car and moved the front plate to the back so I didn't even notice. Whoa, really? Wait, and what's this? Elder leaves. Oh, it's another elder log. Okay, let's not mess with that. <gasps> More! Chat! Wow, cool. Huh. Have a good one, Chris. All right, there's a way down. Let's explore. I don't think this is a dungeon chat. I think it's just a place with a bunch of character. Cool. The cobweb stone is a very pretty looking stone. What mod am I using? Um, exclamation mod pack give you the website and you can check through it. This is a very big mod. There's a lot of stuff in it. It's hard to like use words to give you a rundown. How do I get out of this hole? Oh, right here. All right. How are we doing? We've got, uh, let's chop trees our way back and we'll be done. All right, it's two o'clock. So my haircut is at 3.30. So I have to be done sometime between 2.30 and 3. So we got time. We got time. We can probably finish this storage room, provided we hustle. replant this forest as we walk. Have a good one, Smith. Appreciate you hanging out. Oh, wow. You eat cherries so fast. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, they're worth slightly less than one hunger or whatever. Okay. Just swallowing the cherry pits? I presumably yes. So can we just talk about how cute our little starting home here is? I think the, you know, I think it's nice. I think it works. We'll try and add some windows later. Gotta be careful that a cherry tree doesn't grow in my stomach. You're right. That was really an oversight. Alright, so we're going to try two things here. I 
And I love your input. So, thing the first. Is we do vertical stripes. And then we treat our storage kind of like a spreadsheet. Right? So you look at it and you're like... Yeah, all right. Easy to see which row is which. Option two. Get a little wild. We go on the diagonal. Gasp, that mad lad went and did it. Um, can't seem to be able to reach all of them. All right, chat, and uh, maybe mods, if you wanted to, we could throw up a vote for this. Which is your preference? Do you prefer vertical lines or do you prefer check blip, checkerboard? Why are words so hard? Checkerboard. Vertical lines or checkerboard, yeah. Both are good, but maybe the, uh, I like the, the chat votes because it's interesting or like the, the select an option votes because people in chat will be very, very, very vocal, but then the lurkers, the lurkers can't be bothered to type out a whole word, but they might be bothered to hit a button and then it can be very swingy. So here we go. Here's a great example. Chat overwhelmingly right now is in favor of the checkerboard. What about the lurkers? Vote now on your mobile devices. See, this is closer than I thought. Looking at just chat previously, like check this out. Checker, checker, check, check. Oh, a couple of verticals. Check, 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 check. Ah, vert okay, maybe it was closer than I thought. If you don't see a vote, wait, why is there a slash other? You can type slash vote one for the first option, which is vertical lines two and three and so on and so forth. You can still vote. All right, checkerboard is pulling away. Unlurks to say checkerboard. All right, well you you unlurk the prove me wrong, and I can respect that, procrastinots. I can I can respect that. <laughs> you basically created the uh, show results button. Wow, that's that's a lot closer. Yeah, apologies if you can't see the poll right now. Looks like Team Checkerboard is going to pull away. Hey, six people could make a difference right now. Seven people could make a difference right now. It's pretty close between vertical and checkerboard. Okay, well, it's getting further away now. Wow, as as much as I'm rooting for vertical lines, team checkerboard is pulling away. Oh, look at this, the rally back, the last second rally. Oh my goodness. But at the end of the day, 46% of you have spoken, 45% of you have spoken, and you have asked for checkerboard, and therefore you will speak for everyone. All right, here's an important question. Actually, I'm not even gonna ask you, I'm just gonna do it. These are gonna mirror.
All right, you all say mirrored anyways. All right, good, good, good. I knew we were on the same page, chat. I knew we were on the same page. My people. Darwin was a very good joke. All right, so now we mirror this again. I'm surprised chat didn't vote for chaos. See, that's why you have to be very careful with what you gave them. Kitsune almost burnt us by including an option which wasn't supposed to be included. But normally, you just don't give... Don't give an option that you don't want to consider. And then you have no problems. Okay. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We do this, right? One, two, three. Yeah. That's called biasing the survey. What's called biasing the survey? Wait. Hold on. Uh, I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good. Gotta make things larger here. I'm tempted to make a vote that's just, you mean like this? It just has the option yes and yes. Very good. Um, one, two, three, four. So now we do this. The Illusion of Choice. It's such a good emote. Honestly, that's got to be one of my favorite emotes on Twitch is Adam's The Illusion of Choice emote. It's so good. All right, you can see the storage room continuing to come together. Uh, yep, yeah, that's working. One, two, three, four, five. This goes in here now. I do need a couple more oak ones, so let's get that done. Wait, where'd that spider noise come from? You know what? Nah, we're just not going to worry about it. We're just going to sleep, because presumably it's nighttime outside. One of my old jobs when I was working in tech is we were actually making a survey tool and into like a little bit um, helping clients figure out what their surveys were. And it's amazing how often it's a matter of knowing what you want to learn. What you can actually do with the information you're getting like open-ended text questions can be just an absolute nightmare if you try and learn anything from them right like this is just a lot of words don't necessarily help us get anywhere closer to understanding what it is you want All right, I want to mirror this again, which means I want this there. Is that going to work? Yes, it is going to work because then we end up. Yes. OK, everything's perfect. My favorite part of surveys is trying to form conclusions with only like 20% response, right? Yep. It's another big one, too. Well, that's why it's always like 20% of survey respondents, right? Which is not necessarily indicative of 20% of people who were home at 3 p.m. on a Monday afternoon and picked up the phone had the following to add to the conversation. Four, five, okay.
It's not even that most people don't care. Oftentimes, it's most people just can't be bothered to tell you. They could have very strong opinions. And most often, they'll get, you know, if the data comes in, they'll look at this, and they'll be like, they, these people have no idea. And you're like, well, you didn't respond. They asked you. You hung up and marked it as spam. They're trying their best. Okay, I need... Wait. Is this perfect? No. At least half of it's perfect. That's cool. That's cool and good. Huh, look at that. All right, so we have the rough outline of what our storage room is going to look like. Obviously, it needs a lot of prettying up. But we've left room for like crafting tables, ender chests, maybe another way in or out. We've got our way in. It needs to, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Be populated? Oh, we're probably going to want to rip one of these out and make it like the wall o metal, right? And typically I had a little bit of variety in that they're not all two by twos. We can make a wall of like big materials, but this is, this is a great start. This is a great, great, great start. All right, let's use the last remaining time in the stream today to finish our floor pattern. Wall of metal. Yeah, so in storage drawers, you can make compacting drawers, which are really cool. It takes um, metal and it makes it both the nuggy form, the ingot form, and the bar form. And so typically you just like to group likes and likes together. So we'll take one of these walls and rip it out and just make it all of the different ore types. So the wall of metal. Are these close enough together to work with a single drawer controller? Oh, I didn't even look at that or consider it. Neat. Shoot. What's the range on a drawer controller again? Um, I'm going to have to design this whole thing. Maybe, maybe like 15 by 15 in the very center is going to come back to haunt us. This might be too far, actually. Heck, it's pretty close to this, actually, which is why I'm a little bit scared. I digress. Um, Let's grab logs. Need birch. 12 blocks away. Oh, if it's 12 blocks away in one in one direction and we can center it, then yeah, we just put the drawer controller in the very center and we're fine. We're laughing. Oh! Oh, this is a game changer chat. 25 by 25 cubed. If it's centered, heck yeah, we're fine then. Hundred percent realistic trees. Look, if they chop down easier, I don't even care if they're realistic. That's rad. Hey, what's up, Ventus V? Thank you so much for seven months of support, friend. You're having a good day. Let's just crush some more cherries here. Delicious and nutritious meal of just like swallowing a handful of cherries. Sound like we're panting. Okay, um, so I do two, three, over one. Nope. Don't quite know how we're going to finish that, but that's a problem for future me. Wait, 
Wait. meant to do that. You only hurt yourself when you lie, Serge. That is not symmetrical. I need to think of a way to transition from the floor pattern into the storage area here. And I think it might be marble. I think that might be the best way to do that. Um, I know I said I wanted to transition away from marble, but I need a nice, strong border. And I think this might be it. Mm, do I want an overhang above the logs? I think I do. I definitely think I do. Okay. Then we continue this forward. Good. More stream later. Not tonight, but I will be back tomorrow. I stream basically every single day. If you're new to the channel, I stream 9 a.m. every day. Except for Tuesdays. So there's lots of opportunities for streaming. Yeah, today is going to be a little bit of a shorter stream because I got... Uh, I gotta go get my hair did. That's a nice, sharp contrast. That looks good from below. Uh, we'll have to figure out what goes here. That's a problem for future us. For our starter base, considering this is literally day one, this is a very interesting, very interesting start, certainly. Using bold colors that I typically don't build with. Uh, we've got our storage area coming together. I, I wonder, I don't know what this is going to be yet. I don't know what color it's going to be or what's going to go there, but it's got a lot of potential as well. So the problem, there are no stairs for this color. If we want to go for stairs or slabs, they all, and this is something we learned earlier, uh, they all become the brick shape. They don't look nearly as good, which is just sort of a limitation of the uh, the blocks we're looking at. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. No, there's no quark yet. Uh, so one of the problems we have is, Seraphina mentioned this might be a bug. Anything that has quark first, we don't have the ability to build with. We are restricted only to astral. And I don't want to go from the smooth texture into the brick texture. So it'll have to do for now. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do for the floor yet either. I kind of want to switch it up and have a different texture for the floor here instead of continuing the wood. But this does look very cool. You're really digging the floor pattern? Thank you. It's very loud. It's very loud. So the next thing I need to figure out is... <laughs> uh, all right, let's, let's move this stuff real quick. Just realize I still have these like ridiculous things just sitting there floating. You know what, let's get some smooth stone going here, right? If 
eventually when we get some ender chests or something going on, we can put them in these little spots too. They might end up being walkways later on. I'm not sure. Depends how much like variation in height we're going to play with. <laughs> Holy storage system, what happened? I was only gone for like two hours. Turns out I'm getting slightly faster at building stuff in this game. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's take all of our shame and get it down here. Oh, I can't put the metal away yet because I haven't made the wall of metal yet. What is the blue rock? This is Vintium Ore, uh, Mana and Artifice. I have, Otherwise, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just reading the tooltip. My love! Very much for coffee. You're the best. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, second order of business. I could put this stuff away, kind of. Could I? Oh, I don't want to put it away. I don't have to make any decisions yet. Is it tough that even though I made all of these storage chests, I'm intimidated to actually put them away? <laughs> like, oh man, I don't know, chat. It's a lot of pressure right now to try and decide where all these things are supposed to go. <laughs> what if I just didn't, right? Um, I guess we could try and make a bedroom. Leave it to Joe? And that's good and it's bad. I don't want her to feel like she has to do, like, clean up after me and do chores. But typically I like to divide my storage room into like specific sections. So we do like a wealth section. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's heck, let's go. Let's do it. And then a mob drop section. Food section. All right. So let's start with the wealth stuff because that always feels good. We can move it later, right? Just because we make a decision now doesn't mean we're stuck with it. Where are my diamonds? Hold on. Diamonds are the most important thing to put down first. Uh, diamonds? Hello? Oh, there they are. Okay. We want the diamonds somewhere easily accessible. They're going to go there. Then next to the diamonds, we're going to have emeralds. Um, and then we're going to go like one beneath that. And we're going to do like redstone and lapis here. We're going to get a lot of these. So let's put coal in this box as well. I need, um, I need keys. How do I make keys again? We want a storage key and we want a quantify key. So storage key is gold. And this is a book. Oh, wow. These are actually kind of a pain to make. Uh, gold nuggy, an upgrade template, which is sticks and a drawer. Okay. No, I'm not worried about upgrades. I'm worried about locking these drawers so I don't lose anything. Okay. So, do I have any gold? Yes or no? I think I have some ore? Yes, I do. Okay. So let's go ahead and get grinding on that. Our very early ore double in here.
Yeah, this doesn't scale, does it? <laughs> I'm just suddenly imagining we're doing this for like 16 gold. Can you imagine trying to do this for four or five stacks? Uh, I believe the Australians have a phrase for that called yeah, nah. How, how'd I do? So we're going to have to come up with an alternate to this, certainly. That'll be, that'll be a problem. That'll be a future us problem. Maybe we'll look into create all the gears and stuff like that. It's very pretty. That was very polite for an Australian. Thank you. My Canadian is showing. All right, hold on. Let's take that out. Let's put this in. Let's grab some more coal. This is how you know it's day one of a playthrough. Literally grinding metal with your bare hands. It's a coffee today. It's an absolutely lovely... It's an Ethiopian? It's from a Korean roaster called Momo. It's a geisha. It's delicious. It's like one of the best coffees in the world. Actually. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, so we've got this. I need to turn one of these into nuggies. And it was... I need to make a drawer controller first. Uh, nope. Drawer control... It needs comparators? Oh my god. It needs comparators and a diamond in this economy? What are the chances that a village has redstone, chat? What are the chances that a village has redstone components? Yay or nay? It's modded. Yeah, nah. Nay? Uh, butts. So I have to go to the nether? I have to go to the nether? On day one. All right, and everyone in chat's basically being like, nah, Serge, get real. It's not happening. Gorgon temples have redstone components. I know what all those words mean individually. What other components you need? I, I need uh, da -ba -da -ba, da -ba -da -ba, the, the white crystal. Simply find a jungle temple, forehead. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, I didn't even bother looking at the other recipes. Look, my brain just went into vanilla and that's fine. So I need... 10? You need 50? That's only if you want a mega portal. I think I'm okay with a peasant portal for now. Just to be perfectly honest. 8? No, 8, eight, eight can't be right. Because you need 2 at the bottom, 3 on each side, and 2 at the top. 
And since that adds up to a number less than the number of fingers and toes I have, I can count to it. Oh, I'm not putting... No, no, no. We're not putting the portal here. Kidding me? That wouldn't look good. Have to walk down here every time we want to go to the nether? Nah, we're putting it in the middle of our storage room. Oh, wait. If we're putting it in our storage room, uh, then I need 12. Nope. I lied. Uh, 5 by 3. 5, 10... Fifteen. I need eighteen. No, two of the corners need to be filled in, otherwise they'd look bad. So there's two corners we won't fill in, which will be hidden in the floor. But the visible uppy corners need to be visible. I have a pretty hard out, like, right at 3 p.m. So it's a race against time. It's a race to get three more blocks of obsidian, run upstairs... Light the por build the portal, light the portal, get the quartz, get in, get out, like a heist job. And then, uh, and then make a drawer controller. You could use another block? What? What, what did you say? Check that you could use quartz. Oh no, we're, we've gone too far. How do I get out of here? I don't have armor yet. How much more deadly could the nether be? Only one way to find out. like apple juice. What a great coffee. Delicate, sweet, fruity. Mm. Casually putting the portal to a hell dimension in your storage room? Well, yeah. You don't have to go too far for it, do you? Wait a second. I can just embed it in the ceiling. Oh, no. No, no, no. Wait, we're fine. Wait, is that center? That looks... How did I end up... With four more. I guess if I wanted it to be taller. I expected it to be one block taller and having to fill the corners. But you know what? This is fine for now. And guess what? Obsidian goes there. Bam. Calculated. Um, let's put this away. Got food. Uh, let's grab some blocks to build with. Don't need torches. Uh, I mean, I do have our, I do have iron just kind of sitting here. Let's, let's do ourselves an favor. Perfect. I have a hat. All right, watch out, literal hell dimension. Here we come. Yeet. Oh, cool. My least favorite. Least favorite. Oh, 
Well, it's a good thing we've been practicing parkour. Like, who thought these little drops into murder pits was a good idea? So much for our speedrun strat. You know, the quick in and out. Get in, get the quartz, get out before anyone noticed. Trying to plug all the murder holes here. Like, ah. Ah, oh, whatever, that's fine. Guess we go up? This is dangerous. Have at thee. Congratulations, Serge, you murdered a child. I'm crouching! Hold on. Time out. Since when can you not crouch across magma and not get burnt? All right, well, I think we can all agree that this honks. What if instead of doing all the things that I'm doing, what if I simply pillared across? You're cheating. Can I remove this? I'm going to get knocked off the edge. I'm going to be very sad about it. Wait, are you just floating? There's no block for me to connect to there. What? What? So, Serge, you've been practicing parkour. How's your speed bridging? Well, you're witnessing it. I think I'm actually on path. On... Yes, sure, let's go with that word. World record setting time right now. History is being made, chat. Look at this. It's floating. I can't connect underneath it. That's literally just a floating pile of nether blocks. It's sitting on top. It's cheating. Seventeen minutes until hard out. I repeat, seventeen minutes until hard out. All right, we are here now. All of your finest quartz, please. Yes!
It's okay, Snurge. It's okay to get distracted when you're watching. Okay, I have 15 quartz. Uh, let's grab just a little bit more while we're here. So, pretty happy to see the green forest here. It's relatively one of the safer biomes. Once we got out of the basalt, basalt, whatever. The bath salts biome. Otherwise known as the pokey fiery area of death. Piglins go aggressive, you don't have gold? Yep! You just avoid them, though. You seem to be forgetting the very simple fact that you can just go the opposite direction. You can just run away. What if I simply chose not to engage with the piglins? Piglins. Riddle me that one. Okay, so nether quartz get. Now I need comparators. Comparators are smooth stone, quartz, and redstone, I believe. Uh, smooth stone. Man, if only there was literally anything else that you could uh, substitute for that. Wait, pure nether quartz crystal. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't something that we uh, we had an easy access to. Good. I need sticks, which live up here. And I need smooth stone, which I totally have some of somewhere. Heck, which, which shame chest is it in? Oh no. That's wool. We smelted like half a stack of it. There we go. Okay. So now... There's some torches. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a couple of these. I should only need the one, right? Okay, so we wanted a drawer controller. Drawer controller is a diamond, a drawer, a bunch of smooth stone. All right, so I need more drawers. All right, one of your finest drawer controllers. That's going to go in the very center here. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to get a ton of trim. Oh, that's actually super easy. We need to connect everything up and then this thing will be alive, which I'm very excited about. Um, but very quickly, one second, I'm gonna sneak away and pee and then we're gonna try and get this done. We're speed running, be right back.
All right, I return. Now, we need sticks and wood. Make a bunch of trim here. So I have 20. Now, for this to work, this storage... This isn't centered. This drawer controller... Needs to touch... Everything. Alright, so that's now on top. And then these need to... It's actually kind of convenient there. Alright, so those are now connected there. And then I just need to put them... On the outside here, right? Nope. Okay, so those are now connected. Uh, trim is going to cost me three per corner, so I need a little bit more trim. Not a ton, just a little bit more trim. Those are my stripped oak things. No, that was uh, definitely trim I put down there. Good to double check though. Near the stairs. Oh, as in I didn't connect it. Oh, I see, okay. That makes sense. There we go. So that's what you meant. Alright, well, I'm going to need way more of this trim then. Alright, need more sticks. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves, like, eight more trim. Uh, let's do 12, just to be safe. All right. So that corner is connected. Now we need to connect this corner. All right. So those are now connecting to each other. Once again, over here. Oh, uh, buckets. Hmm. Yeah, I need way more than I thought I did, because I have to connect that long strip there. So, let's make another two. Let's make another one. Okay, good. Perfect. Try that again. All right, connected, 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 and we're going to go this way. So that side's done. Bam! And... wait. And time! <laughs> Alright, I think with that, friends, it's not pretty, it's not organized, it's not done, but it's functional. And that in and of itself is very cool. With seven minutes remaining, six minutes remaining, what's the range on trim? I have no idea. I just hope this works. We'll see. So next stream, which is going to be tomorrow at 9 a.m., we're going to come back and we're probably going to redo some sections of this. We need to put a metal area in, for example, maybe on this side or that side. We need to pretty a lot of this up. Wait, hold on. That's already a lot prettier. If I just do that. There 
made a huge difference. Yeah, but for the most part, this is great. This is great. We have our storage area. We have the fr framework of our starter home. We've got nether access. We've got a mine. Like this is, this is a very successful episode one. Oh, we're gonna need to make a Kanban wall. This is a ton of progress for day one. Honestly, this is rad. Like we've got our build aesthetic figured out. We've got a bunch of stuff figured out. Now, between today and tomorrow, I'm also gonna be opening up this server to the mods and some friends. So let's see what happens. Should be very exciting. But friends, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been an absolute joy. It's so nice to get back into streaming Minecraft. Uh, huge shout out and thank you to Serafina who built this whole mod pack. You can find out information about that again if you exclamation mod pack in the chat there. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Arclight Dynamo. I had a heck of a time trying to make a modded server happen and I was very sad and about ready to give up and Arclight's like, you know, before you just throw your computer into the sea, why don't I give this a shot? And then he fixed it and made it work. And that was super cool. That was super duper cool. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, come on back tomorrow for more of Minecraft. More good times with Minecraft. Saturday is going to be my three year. It's kind of a weird milestone to celebrate because it's not like the partner anniversary and it's not my birthday. But on Saturday, it is going to be the three year anniversary of the first ever stream I did, which is kind of cool. So we're going to be hanging out and just doing something different. Just having a chill day. I don't want to make like a big deal out of it, but I want to make something a little different. So uh, we're going to have a longer lunch break. We're going to be doing a taste test of some instant coffee, which is fun. And actually, I have a special surprise to show you. I'm going to spoil it now and I'm not going to say any details, but we're going to be we're going to be watching something together. Joe from the other room just said no. We're going to be watching something together. And that's all I'm going to say. No, nope. that, that it's not even a spoiler. It's just, it's the, it's the pre-announcement announcement is what that was. So there you go. Joe's like, my secrets, my hard work secrets. Uh, thank you very much for all the subs and the bits today. Very, 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 there's a ton of generosity in the chat today. A ton of gifted subs and I really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you for the warm welcome back to Minecraft. All right, let's take this positivity and let's send it on to someone else. And let us call it a day. Let's raid my boy Adam. I like this plan. I like this plan a lot. Boy Adam is playing some Final Fantasy right now. Final Fantasy 14. I tend to be very family friendly. Adam is lovely, but will occasionally utter some profanity. So just, just a heads up and a warning for that, but is an absolutely lovely human. So let's go send some positivity that way. Thank you very, very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.